Hello? Wait. You're fine. Yeah, no, you just under. I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna say this plate downstairs real quick. So you're fine, you're fine. Well, less you know, than sorry, it took a little longer. I, uh, You'll be back in a second. I had a, I had a friend come he over. Never returned. And he needed some. Uh, I'm just talking. He, he needed. Oh, all right. Hello. Sorry, it took a little longer. Hello. Hello. I had a friend hey. come over and he, he needed some 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 good old Dutch counseling Russian about something. Robot. So I had to quickly help him out. <laughs> uh, hey guys. Yeah. Is Dutch it's counseling funny. like a sexual euphemism? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> We're playing hide to the. Pickle. I gave him some Dutch counseling. Oh my. Nah, um, dude. Welcome dude. back to Dungeon Select. Hello, we're here. D and D, third week in a row. My... Gamers. Is my stream behind? It's still on the starting no, screen. The screen. No, no, we're still. Yeah, yeah, we're still, we're still. I'm, oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of you know swapping and. and He's you know, warming them up I'm, to the yeah, idea exactly. of seeing our faces. Okay. okay. You know, because yeah, I don't have beautiful I can always get to mentally prep before I fucking can expose myself to all of you. <laughs> um, I actually fucking brushed my beard for this shit. We're down to Soko today because Soko is working, but he might be back next like week, if idiot. not the week after. <laughs> so, I'm not sure. But Soko's working, so uh, no Soko. Um, no Soko. Yeah, so today, before we get into it, we're going to be doing another, another uh, Wild Mount one shot. Uh. Hmm. Called Frozen Sick, which uh, is a little bit of a different, like style of of, of um, adventure compared to the last one. The last one was very much, you know, explore, adventure, go through, you know, like political kind of kind of mm -hmm. vibe. And this one is a little more uh, mystery. Figure out what <gasps> is doing something Ooh. and how to stop <sighs> it, kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. But before anything else, uh, I have a few announcements. First of which being starting tomorrow, every Monday, me, Duke, and Ethan will be playing Baldur's Gate 3 on this here channel. Uh, we'll be starting tomorrow, uh, an hour after Dungeon Select's usual time. So uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. UK. 8 p.m. Yeah. BST. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So, uh, and Old Shatter Geek has... Uh, decided generously generously decided to uh, sponsor a giveaway <gasps> to be run on the Ooh. dungeon select channel we're going to be giving away a copy of Baldur's gate 3 courtesy of old chat can i win can i win uh <laughs> we're gonna, i'm Brain gonna see if i can set up like a like a like a gleam kind of thing where it's like yeah, oh, yeah. if people sub to the youtube they get uh, an entry if they sub to the or if they follow the twitch they get an entry if they follow the twitter they get an entry yeah. join the subreddit they get an entry that's sort of shit um, yeah. So that more more on that giveaway stuff and stuff tomorrow. But Shatter, big up for for you know offering that in the first place. That's very generous of you, and you're a gamer, and we love you. Smile. So yeah, tomorrow yeah, well, Baldur's Gate every Monday brings traffic. Uh, every every Monday we'll be doing Baldur's Gate, and the vods will also go up on the YouTube if people want to you know watch that playthrough. Bell will uh, make sure that it's on the YouTube, and if she needs help, I'll I'll jump in and help her out. Other than that. I promise not one but two art reveals this week. So. Hell yeah! Oh, actually, kind of pogging. The first uh, one is uh, going to show up on screen any second now. Bop! Anime. There he is, little little boy holding a little 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 blue magic thingy. Very mysterious. Ooh. Boy, look at his oh. fancy clothes. Very fancy Here looking, comes. looking very, looking very. He looks so boy. fancy. Looking very he actually upper does class. Fancy shit. Um, Dude, I, I love I how like mismatched sweets. everyone's looking already. Like, we're only three reveals in. <laughs> the colors are so all over the place. Um, I love it. We're a rainbow. This is uh, Elazrin Julius Vinor <laughs> Dunbar. Oh, my God. Oh, well, we know who it is by the name. It's it's our it's our Percival whatever, da, 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 the, the role kind of the third of. character. So, um, this is our that's that's, that's oh, character number possible. three. We'll be joining the, uh, the Dungeon Select oh, Campaign great. 2 party. And, uh, fuck it, dude. I'm just gonna go Fancy. in for number four, like, right away. Fuck it, why not? Yeah. Oh my god. And here's number four. Little, little cat! Look, if, they, if they're yellow, they'll oh. be so fucked up. <laughs> what we've got is four adults. Look at that They're adopted child in that And, uh, I, I hope, I hope... <laughs> I pronounce this right. Uh, Dagon? Dagon? I don't know. Dagon? Dagon. Dagon. Dagon? Dagon. Dagon. Hairless? Dragon. Um, a tabaxi <laughs> has like the person. cool, like you know, different colored eyes thing going on, looking very cat-like. Like, not, not really the image that springs to mind when you think cat girl, but I mean, no, I mean we'll shit, take it. Yeah, right. Like, we'll take it. We'll take it. Much scruffier 
angry. It's like the, the low fantasy. Cat girl. <laughs> the, the low fantasy version of a cat girl will take yeah, it, right? I guess. But like, she still has I a cat. Um, that leaves yeah. two Dude, more Her weapon is about to revealed. kill the fancy boy. It's like mm. poking, tickling the back of his head. than she is. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I yeah, do all the arts so look so fucking awesome, and it's so dope right, to see uh, just to see all that fucking. Uh, all, I'm all actually the arts. loving. They all have like, a good different color and, kind and, of oh. palette right now. And with that, I love um, it. that's four out of six party members revealed. Um, so good. And Soko wants them post in the chat. That also means tell Soko to too bad and just watch the stream. That, that oh. also means I'll, that. I'll put um, them in the chat. I have a date to announce where we officially start campaign two. Oh, you're just gonna say you have a date? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Dutch has a date. Uh, oh, Sunday, August fifteenth, we'll have our first session. Mark. Your calendars, boys. Mark your calendars. March of calendars, August fifteenth. Campaign two starts officially, and I'm so Three fucking weeks, hyped. Three weeks, baby. Three weeks. Hell yeah. And I'm super fucking pumped, and I'm, I can't wait for you all to like, you know, fucking August get stuck in this this whole new continent, a whole new fucking story to tell. I am so mm -hmm. stoked! It is unfucking real. And on while we're speaking of dates to put in your calendar, also Saturday, August twenty eighth. It's a ways. It's like over a month away, but it it's it was really hard to wrangle schedules. We'll be playing but... our festivities, aka gay festivities, one shot. <laughs> where I'm gonna try being a DM for the first time. Woo! And we Sorry. have a table of entirely LGBT players, ranging from some new to people who've played for years, including my first ever DM is gonna be a player. So no pressure oh boy. for me. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Nice. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Gonna That's be awesome. fun. And we have and we have one of the players is a member of the Play Dicely campaigns. We also are mixing some Twitch campaigns. Up Amazing here. fucking oh, yeah. campaign, by the way, uh, guys. Can yeah. not recommend uh, okay. Play Dicely enough. They're awesome. And that entire cast and crew is just great people. Good Lovely people, people, dude. Lovely people. Straight up. Daddy's so oh, I love All of them. them. All of them are fucking dope. Um, those are my announcements. I don't know if anyone else has any... Uh, you know, just that one, just the date of the one shot. Had, had her announcement. Anyone else have anything that they want to announce before we uh, get going? I mean, oh, the biggest biggest one for me is the uh, Baldur's Gate. Hell yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, Very excited baby. For that. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Mm. Also, I'll I'll announce this every time until it happens. But I think there's only maybe one more session, if that. But August second, I think there's something happening on the first. Like either August first or second. Things like I'm doing my six year anniversary stream. August 12 hours is a Sunday, trying... so we'll, we'll probably... Be That's done. why, so it's August 2nd, yeah. Go. So August 2nd is my 12-hour, six years on Twitch anniversary stream. We're going to try and nice. start and finish Bayonetta in one sitting. Ooh. In one day. Okay. okay. That's the goal. It's a Sunday. Fuck. It's a Sunday. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, with that said... I'm a mess, dude. What is this? <laughs> I think it's time... Uh, let's, let's, fucking, let's fucking play some D&D. Bonus announcement. Boys. Oh, bonus announcement? No, just that Duke was like, oh. Duke's yes. beard. <laughs> yeah, what, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I, 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 honestly, I made I the effort know. to brush my beard for this, and Duke's just like, growing in the <laughs> Maybe it's going to become a multi braid He's going to have three soon. The one oh, and the two perhaps, three. Perhaps, I'm perhaps. a little sad that there's no very clear dwarves left up in the app, because with that beard, you should absolutely be playing a dwarf. Hey, he's playing, playing a, a dwarf for the he's playing for the one right now. Campaign two, <laughs> stick with it. Yeah, I know. It. He's gonna shave the beard off for campaign two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no fucking way. I think he'd rather die than fucking shave that fucking beard off. <laughs> dude, this is gonna bother me. Mustache <laughs> <on> me <maybe. laughs> fucking fix it. Uh. Okay, well, I, dude, if I'm gonna fix this, I gotta like go AFK because I'm just gonna cut it off. Like, okay, I'm, never I, fucking mind. Fuck? Don't fucking fix it then. God damn it. <laughs> This is That's how you fix your beard. Just, just get some hair gel, just, just slick it back for now so it's out of the way. Oh yeah, just the fucking gel brush like it, my guy. Lying around. Uh -huh. Just spit in your hand and just slide oh, that shit. Oh, stop shouting, mama dad! enough for like half the shit we do. Let's uh... Listen, it, it'll do, all right? It'll do. It down. I'll just, I'll just... Let's calm it down. <laughs> and play some fucking D&D. <laughs> Um, so, it's been six months since your adventures in Urzin and, and Ford Venture. And since then, you as a group have, have made a little more of a name for yourselves, traveling around Wildmount, picking up the jobs that typically any normal uh, 
normal person, you know, in bra you know, in Asterix, uh, probably wouldn't pick up. Um, and those adventures eventually led you to find some respite, find some rest in a, in a village called Pale Bank Village. Pale Bank Village uh, is housed. Um, quickly open up the fucking flavor text here because they write down way better than I ever could. Um, in the continent's biting north region, uh, the bleak Arctic realm of the Greying Wildlands and Isocross. Pillbank Village, um, particularly particularly small town, uh, mainly dwarven and elvish uh, folk that that live there. And as you arrive in the city or in the in the village, I should say, um, you kind of wandered in at, a, at an interesting time. It seems that some figure of, of great importance to the village is in the middle of, of getting buried after they have passed, and the entire village is, is at the graveyard, um, paying their respects, and, and you all decide, um, you all decide that you'll probably also, as, as guests in this village, just, just watch the ceremony and kind of wait for everyone to go back to their, their, their normal business. <clears throat> Um, so, snow gently falls from the sky and wind bites your cheeks as you stand in the graveyard of Palebank Village, a fishing outpost of Uthodurn that is home to several hundred dwarves and elves. The sun is low in the sky, sinking behind the fresh grave of Ergon Wenth, an old dwarf who caught a curse or disease that turned him into an ice statue. The folk of the village have gathered to pay their final respects to Ergon's frozen remains. After the ceremony is done, you you all see kind of the, the, the townsfolk go back to their 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 normal business, uh, get ready for uh, their evenings uh, after paying their respects, leaving some flowers around uh, the the icy remains and saying a few words. You suddenly hear a voice speaking softly from behind you. Thank you for attending Ergon's service. And as you all turn, you meet the gaze of. Elro Aldatar, a weathered elf, retired ranger, and leader of the village. Sorry to speak of dark tidings under such circumstances, but I believe that Pillbank Village might be in danger, and I'm hoping that you can help us. Um, uh, uh, I mean, it's not like we're doing anything else. Yeah. You'll be happy to help. For the right price. Of course. Um, two months ago, Ugon, um, he returned home after exploring Isocross for about a year. And he'd been, ba he'd been back for only a few days when he came down with a strange affliction, which made him move slowly and caused blue veins to appear all over, the all over his body. The village Most priests of Moradin and Coralon used every spell they could muster to attempt to heal him, but nothing they tried could stop this bizarre malady. Ergon battled with the affliction for weeks until his ever-slowing body eventually turned into ice. Until yesterday, myself and the rest of the community believed that Ergon's sad fate was an isolated incident, most likely caused by something he came into contact with while exploring Isocross. But then I noticed that Tulgi Lutan, uh, a fellow, um, one of his fellow dwarves, um, started showing signs of the same illness. I tried to talk to Tolgi about it, but um, she pushed she pushed me away, asking to let her die in peace. So, if you are willing, I would like for you to find out what caused this affliction that happened to both Ugon and Tolgi. I'm worried that it could spread, but Tolgi refuses to speak to me, and the glass blades in the village are better known for their combat skills and their ability to glean the truth in a complicated situation. Moreover. Togi is extremely distrustful of the authorities, so there's also that. I think a group of adventurers might have better luck convincing her to talk. If you agree to help find the cause of this affliction, I'll offer you uh, 100 gold pieces each. Um, I suggest, if you're willing to accept, that you uh, start by searching Ergon's home or talking to Tolgi at her, at her cabin. It's, uh, it's up to you. 
I was actually just going to ask if we could have permission to search his home. Do you know if he kept any any journals of his travels? Did he keep any records? Was he that kind of I dwarf? Um, I'm not sure, but I, I imagine there might be something along those lines. He he traveled around Isocross for about two years, so I'm sure he's written some things down. I don't I don't don't exactly know. Okay. But uh, I'll make sure that uh, you know the guards know that you have permission to enter the house if if they were to stop you and like i said um tolgi she doesn't really trust the authorities so if you are going to talk to her try and learn something by all means don't tell her that i'm the one that hired you because that will just cause her to push you out again and uh you'll learn nothing uh right so I saw cross, you said. Yes. Is it and this is the first time you've seen anything of this sort? Um yeah, can't say I've seen an affliction like this before. No, I'm just slowly freezing a body until you're completely encased. Have in you ice. So, considered yeah. since Torgi's case came up, have you considered isolating anyone else who came into contact with Ur Urgon? Because generally, it, 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 we we don't you don't know how it spreads if it spreads by, well, by touch um, or by. Tulgi kind of went into self isolation. Um, she avoids contact with people, and like I said, she just wants to die alone and in peace. She says so. But what about before that? Anyone who came in contact with Ergon, other than his healers, of course, while you were trying to treat him. Um. We haven't really. We we obviously we don't even know how she got it. And I, I didn't know that. I was um, about to ask were Tolgi and Ergon close at all, or is these completely isolated incidents? I, as far as I'm aware, these are completely isolated. But then again, never really got close to Tolgi because, as leader of this village, this mm. is something that she's not a big fan of, and Ergon. I, like, I, he's been gone for over a year exploring the Isle Cross, and, um... Comes back and suddenly has his malady, so I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not- I'm, I genuinely don't know. It's all the information I have, unfortunately. Okay, yeah, well, while we investigate, you might want to start just keeping much more careful records about, uh, who- who comes in contact with who, if any more cases develop, just makes it easier. If it is, if it is, you know, physical in nature and not a magical, it seems like more of a magical illness. I mean, turning to ice isn't really a common thing. I can't say I ever mm. saw it when healing anyone the fact that, back at the uh, temples. But all of our priests tried every spell in the book to reverse it, and none of it worked. Also, doesn't bode very well for it to be a natural disease or also affliction, rather. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. All right. Well, I suppose a hundred a hundred gold pieces each. Mm -hmm. I suppose that makes it worth our time. Small mm -hmm. price to pay if it means mm -hmm. saving my town. Uh, I'm gonna. Mm, I guess I'm just gonna like. I don't think I have any scraps of cloth. Uh, I'm gonna just like cut a bit of s sleeve off i guess and like tie it over my tie it over my face it's like a mask uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes yeah. okay yeah, yeah, yeah i'll talk to togi i think maybe uh can connect with her a bit better i i, I think maybe uh e elias maybe take a couple and search ergon's house and i i would really like to go search ergon's house personally Ooh, i'll go too and I, I was gonna say that you're more up Breaking and entering type, but but we don't have oh, to break, break and enter. And, and uh, Togi has a problem with authority. Might be a woman after my own heart. So and and you're both and I'm assuming what? she also just tr trusts you more, just because you resemble the t the people that live here more. So inherently uh, she's more a dwarf natural. Herself, so. Yeah, I didn't mean it like that. I meant more that with the bottom half of your face covered, you don't exactly look approachable. I don't want to catch no a body freezing uh, affliction. <laughs> don't worry, I'll join you, Ludwig. I'm. There you go. 
better maybe is, cover up as well. Nah, I'll be fine. If it I is magical, it's magical in nature, it might be something that I should take a look at. We can figure that out once uh, maybe we're on better terms. Whatever float. Yeah, maybe too many people at once might also feel a bit kind of like oppressive and overwhelming to right. her as well. Especially, I mean, and I, I don't mean this in any kind of way, Elias, but uh, <laughs> maybe not the type she wants to see right now. Mm, meaning what? Just what with your... Uh, uh, history, I suppose. Also, Neswin has this kind of disarming charm and is very approachable and is like the least threatening person here, too. I noticed that. Oh, thank that. you. You're the only person I've ever seen smile at a funeral. I have to say, at a glance, the rav awesome. scares me a little less, but I suppose, uh, uh, I don't know. A fish I mean, man and a frog. I mean, frog. rap. Rav's literally poisonous. No offense, but like that that can be scary. Is it poisonous or is it I toxic? Venomous? It, maybe it, it's poison. It's poison. Venomous? See, oh, no, no, poison. no, venomous is when it bites you. Yeah, Rav yeah. Right. said it's poison. Okay. Right. Poison. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll right. to figure this out and if you need anything I'll be uh, I'll be in my uh, in my homestead um, just right. down the street. Oh, can you point us in the direction of Ergon's house, please? Uh, yes, of course. Um, if you go around that corner, just look for a uh, one-story log cabin at, at the edge of town. Uh, okay. That's where Ergon lives. Um, okay. As far as uh, Tolgi, um, same uh, style of, of, of cabin, just uh, a little closer to the town square. Um, it'll... it'll you, have a look. Um, Tolgi's cabin. You'll find uh, if you into, if you go north from the town square, it will be the second cabin on the left. All right, next one. Yeah. Let's let's go. Sweet talker, dying dwarf. Team house hunt. Let's go. And yeah. uh, the expression on my face. I look far too excited, considering <laughs> that like people are dying There's and this is that because mm. the, idea, the fact that I'm like I can I could research a new like epidemic and I could fix it is very very exciting to me to be on the no, forefront no, no. like how you we have you have the same energy as Nesbin has but Nesbin is just a general like <laughs> I'm happy all the time well, I, also just, like... I also just have like I feel like dragon boards much easier to have like resting bitch face for lack of better word because yeah. dragon face much scarier than a lot of other yeah, yeah d definitely yeah. <laughs> seems, seems fair <laughs> doing that smile that <laughs> doing that smile that like dogs do but it looks really threatening still <laughs> just yeah. Like... yeah dude the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, fuck. Oh, my dogs do that shit. Like, you can't really tell if it's smiling or bearing teeth yeah, in like exactly. yeah, territorial. Yeah. Is she right. flooding with me or is that a direct threat? Yeah. Well, both. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, a little bit of anyway, both. A little bit of both. For the, the group that is going to Ergon's cabin, um, you oh, find the cabin, cabin at the edge of town and you see um, uh, a good natured guard uh, glass blade as as you heard um the leader of the town call them before uh standing guard outside the front door a, a female wood elf uh she would seem from from as you approach her and get a better look at, at her at her features and she kind of just stands guard uh, in front of the door of the cabin can i, can I help you lot we've come to investigate the house we have you mentioned from Elro. Right. Um, you got anything that might prove that? I'm a little new to the job and I don't want to, you know, just lend anyone. Oh. So if you have anything to, like, prove... Oh, that would have been a good idea, wouldn't it? We could go get him and just I... bring him here to tell you. That might take a while and this is a very time-sensitive mis mission. The man's in... The, the, the man's dead. Elrond's not dead. Of... No, Elrond's not dead. Ergon is dead. People are in the middle of dealing with that. Do you really want to spend all of this time? What's the worst that we do? We're going to have a look around. Make a persuasion check. I'm not gonna steal his plates. I mean, come on. Do we? We don't look that. We 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 don't look oh, that. Oh, that's right. oh, just I'm new to the job, and I don't want to, you know, let a group of strangers to <sighs> the village into this home. I'm like, you know, lose my job because that's of it. A nine. What was that? 
It's a nine. Oh. Nine? Well, I rolled a five, so... But as long as, you know, I'm going to check with Elro after, and if you're lying to me, then you'll be in trouble. And she How about, you know, um, steps aside um, and opens the door for you. Oh, okay. And as you walk in, uh, this, this cramped, dark cabin may have been a cozy place when the owner was still alive, but now an unmade bed stands near a cold fireplace, its mantle hung with the head of some snarling white beast with grey horns. On the other side of the room, a small table strewn with dirty dishes a set, uh, and set with a dwarf-sized chair stands before two empty shelves whose contents are scattered across the floor. Kitchen utensils, dried foodstuffs, adventuring gear, and a few books. I immediately want to flip through the books. I'm drawn to the books. And I get my own journal out as well, and my quill. I, I take it being a bookish individual favorite, so you're going to go for those? Yes. Okay. Um... You're going, through the, you're going through the books? Uh, yeah. Investigation? yeah. I would like for you to roll an investigation check, please. Ooh, not, not great. A 10. Okay. Can I assist? <clears throat> sure. Maybe I'll be like, you look through these, I'll look through we'll yeah, save sure. some time. Uh, so what would advantage Do you want me to roll separately, roll? Laura, or do you want to roll? Uh, maybe roll separately, because if we're doing it, like I gave you some books, and I have some books. You pick. You picked out the books, and I just read books. Yeah. Investigation? Yeah. 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 25. 25, god damn. Nice. You um, don't find anything of interest, Faerys, but um, Elias, you find that in one of the books, you find a, a folded receipt that you used as a bookmark. The receipt is dated two months previous and indicates that Ergon sold several um, Aeorian items found in Isocross to local, uh, to local antique shop Pelk's Curiosities for a thousand gold pieces. The items listed are a dagger, a scroll case, a jade statuette, a quiver of 20 arrows, a silver ring set with a jasper, and two blue glass vials. I am going to, after skimming this over incredibly quickly, put it back in the book, and I'm going to attempt to mix that book back into Ferris's pile. Okay. That's funny. Uh, make a slight hand check. Can I be stealthy instead? No. Okay. I have to try. It's, it's a 15. 15. Um, My passive perception is 9. So I'm. Just make a perception check with disadvantage because you're also going through the books and stuff. So. Okay. Uh, that's a 2. Yeah, you have no idea. But eventually, <laughs> you get to the book that uh, Elias, you know, fumbled back into your pile and you find the same receipt. So I wrote down most of the items you got. What was where was the shop again? I was trying. To uh, it's called this. Pelks Curiosities. Um, Pelks. Yeah. You you don't know where it is. Okay. But just the name. I know him, Ferris. Uh, well, he he made some money recently. He sold a bunch of items. It's quite. I'm very intrigued because they don't sound like they'd be worth a thousand gold necessarily. But there's a dagger, a scroll case, like a statue, a ring, like. Unless they were very fancy. Does it say anything about them? About where they uh, were from no. or what they were? No. All the, the only thing that maybe strikes my mind, but it's a straw. or It's a very loose thread grasping at here. There are two blue glass... F Do you say vials or files? Like v vials. V-I-A-L. Vials. I wrote files. Oh, okay. You... Two blue glass vials. Is vials is a PH anyway. It is. You're right. No, I'm sorry. No. Maybe... Maybe there was something in those, because just, it's it's loose, but color blue, his veins turned blue, early ice, maybe there was something in those files that he touched or ingested. <clears throat> you, uh, Dutch, you said that on the actual receipt it lists them as Aeorian items? Uh, Aeorian, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, what does that mean? I feel like Elias would know this shit, so. Yeah, that's, he absolutely would. That's... That's Taldori lore that Laura's forgetting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... For... I... I, I feel like... I, I genuinely don't know whether... Whether Rev would know this, but I feel like this might be a bit outside of your purview, Ferris. Um, Aeor... Is now a collection of runes, but was once a... Majestic culture of practitioners of magic. Uh. It was a... How do I explain this without steeping it in 
several months worth of explanation. Um, it was a flying city. It was very before our time. Relics from there are... A flying city? That's so fast. <laughs> worth lots of money. On top of which, discoveries from it have very much impacted our study of the arcane. Some okay. of the magic that I use is okay, okay. linked to that vein of can, arcane. Can I cast detect magic and see if anything in this house seems to be giving off sure. magic vibes? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, that's Are you going to use a spell, spell slot? Yeah. I have the wand. Oh! Oh, you can do that? You can take it if you like it. Doesn't require no, a no, no. I mean, I'll save. Oh, you mean take the item? You can use the wand if you like. It doesn't require attunement. If you want oh, to use this, heck in... yeah. There you go. Then I'll hand over the All wand right. and magic section. There you go. Do that. Um, you cast uh, detect magic uh, using the wand and notice that nothing in the house is giving you a magical aura well he definitely didn't keep any magic items then because he must have sold them all because i thought i wondered if maybe he kept something behind from these trinkets he sold but doesn't look like it unless it's hidden physically but it doesn't nothing's pinging magical are you going through anything uh raf by the way or yeah i want to look for any like explorer's equipment or like traveling equipment that he would have used um yeah i mean you see in the mess on the floor uh, in front of the 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 cabinets that are completely empty you can find uh parts of his uh equipment uh, a silvered maul a suit of splint armor dwarf sized um also and some bulky fur lined clothing dwarf sized a grappling hook and a hooded lantern i love these people <laughs> grappling hooks fucking fur lined clothes hell yeah it's cold up here, homie. Oh, and speaking of fucking cold, it is super hot in my room, so I'm opening my door. Smile. Uh, any like damage or anything to the to the mold that looks out of place? Um, make an investigation check just in general. Did you say it was why splint? did I why oh, did man? I splint, yes. roll it on that? I rolled it by accident. <laughs> Rolled the same anyway. Ten. Ten? Um, yeah. Well, you get the sense that the place wasn't always this trashed. It's, it definitely gives you a vibe that someone has gone through this stuff recently and just made a mess when they didn't find what they were looking for. Uh, and you find a footprint. Uh, guys? Oh, did you find something? Yeah, so, I mean, someone for sure broke in here and was looking for something, but they left a footprint. Oh. <gasps> and they almost didn't let us in. This this guard is not good at her job. We take a look at this footprint now? Yeah. Does anyone often track things by print? Does it at least look like a shoe, like a booted foot? Is it really big? Is it small? Just get an idea of the. Looks like the, yeah, at like least... like a like a footprint made from a, a boot or a shoe. Uh, reminds you a bit of you know the size prints uh, Ludwig leaves behind. You reckon it's okay. probably dwarven? Okay. Well, no single footprint, that. or does it like lead to tracks? Um, there's definitely tracks, yeah. Can I try and follow them? Um, yeah, absolutely. They, uh, they go back out the front door. As you all kind of leave the cabin, the guard, uh, nods at you. Want anything useful? Um, Not particularly. Just some shopping receipts. Oh, really? Some mess, messy equipment. Okay, well, um... Uh, are you, you going to be done here, or, or are you going to Is pack, the or? guard... The guard's a dwarf, right? No, the dwarf is... Or the, the guard oh. is uh, elven. Okay. Wood elf. Sorry, okay. I was like, maybe they would... They're working so, on it. 
Is there anything in the room that we didn't look at? We looked at the books. We looked at his belongings. There we wasn't didn't look anything at the on dishes. the table, was there? No. Dirty dishes. There was something above the fireplace? Uh, there was a head mounted above the bed. Okay. Uh, Wait, we didn't bed. look under the bed. I run back in. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I always hid things under the bed when uh, I was an investigation check? in the temple. Oh my god, I rolled the same thing again. That's a 10. I rolled an 8 no, both times. Nothing under the bed besides dust. Dang it. Dang it. That... You just hear a loud sneeze from inside. <laughs> the dust okay. gets in my nose. The dishes. Mm -hmm. Are they just like thrown in or are they like stacked out or? Uh, Time to steal some plates. The dishes no. are uh... just. Uh, um, <laughs> save. <laughs> Fuck. Meltdown. The dirty dishes are just kind of like spread around the table. Like it's just kind Does of. There seem to be like messy. Multiple are they sets. Hiding? Does it look like more than one person ate there, or does it look like one person is eating here and just allowed it to pile up? Uh, it doesn't look like like it looks to you as if because the way it's kind of set up, just one person constantly piling up their dishes instead of uh, cleaning it. Does okay. the head uh, mounted on the bed come off the wall if I go to like lift it, or is it's it like quite pretty big. permanently Make a fixed? Oh, sh I mean, what is it? You just said it I was, win these. You said it Dirt was natural white? twenty. Plus five. Natural twenty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For you, a total you, of you take the head and it, you Ugh. take it off the wall and take it down. You are you? Do you want to know what it is, Elias? Are you like checking? Yeah. It? You never actually said what it was. No. Make a it's nature a human check. Human head. Make a nature check. It's a human nature? head. Who? <laughs> yeah. No, oh, I still have a plus five. That's an eight. Uh, you're not sure. It just looks big, white with horns. I feel is like it it's furry? important because Dutch furry, didn't tell yeah. us. However, I'm not going to waste a fucking chrono shift on way, a fucking stuffed head. I took it off the wall. Is there anything on the back of the plate? You know, some people would hide things in the backs of pictures. Is there anything on nope. the back of the head? Nothing. Anything does it have a slot for batteries? It no, it does not. <laughs> a sing like one of those mounted fish. No. Okay. I think how that's everything. darn it. How old are the footprints? Like, how um, old are they look? Semi-recent. And I'm I'm assuming that as soon as they go out the front door, they kind of just disappear. Um. Or can I make a new track again? Make a uh, survival check. Mixed with okay. all of our footprints now. Come on, give me rep, that. I believe. Uh, sixteen. Yeah, you can track them. In fact, uh, oh yeah, you you track the prints and they lead to Tolgi's cabin. Ooh. In which, well, I mean... while this is all going on, in Tolkien's cabin, where uh, Ludwig and Neswin are at currently, as you two approach the cabin, the, the snow-covered cabin looks peaceful and quiet from the outside. Windows are shuttered, and a steady stream of smoke piping out of the chimney indicates a roaring fire within. Are you going to take the lead on this, or do you want me to... Uh... I, I, well, I'm, I'm as, as, uh, you know, uh, personable as you are, Nesra, I think it's probably for the best, so. Okay, I'll, just... I'll, I'll take the back seat. I need I to I'll knock on the door. I'll take a step back with this. Fuck off. That's not dwarven for coming. It's because it's not. I'll switch to Dwarvish. Hey, l listen, Tolgi. Hey. I'm just, just trying to try to figure out what's going on here. Trying to trying to get you some help. Make a persuasion check. Oh, I'm gonna be great at this now. Bet. Hold on. Oh fuck. Where's my character sheet? I don't know. Hold on. I believe he's persuasive he's a dwarf oh it's a good roll too fuck okay hold on hold on hold on, hold on. <laughs> i don't know why my character she isn't open <laughs> 22. Oh, you, you hear a click and she pulls the door open looks at you looks at your friend i'm like i'm literally like shitty mask mm -hmm. and an eye patch like just one good eye like 
<laughs> just normal <laughs> shrug and then looks looks like past you to Neswin. Hey, come in. And you see her like. My name's Ludwig. Tolkien. Hi, I'm Neswin. Hi. You see her like slowly shuffling back inside the house. You can definitely tell that moving is becoming very difficult for her. Mm. Um, she goes to sit down. And as you enter, the heat in the small cabin hits like a hammer blow. A table set with neatly stacked dishes, tools and utensils stands in the center of the room. The smell of a simmering soup comes from a pot hanging inside a roaring fireplace. Another fire burns in an iron brazier at the opposite end of the room. Filling the cabin with a smoky haze, shivering at the end of the bed near the brazier, you see um, Tolgi sit down, wrapping herself in her blankets. Bulging blue veins streak her face, neck, and hands. Hey. Well, for warm in here, eh? Hmm. Still, still a bit chilly. Are you a friend of our logs? I, um. Wait, hold on. Oh. She looks at you. Um. Make a. Just make a charisma check, oh, please. Okay. Uh, 11. Okay, well. You're not. You don't look like the official tapes, and maybe I can... I'm looking for the cure to this affliction, and... <sighs> Let me start at the beginning. I came to Palebank Village a few years back from Shady Creek Run with my sister, Ulil. Uh, we work for a family called the Utalot family. They sent us and a few others uh, to this village to keep an eye on treasures coming back from Isle Cross, with the intent on stealing them. Uh, when such artifacts come through this settlement, um, they're often unusual goods that treasure hunters are trying to keep away from Uthodurn and the, or the Dundalian Empire. When Urgon returned to Palebank Village with treasures from Isle Cross, saw me chance. Heard he sold it all to Pelk's Curiosities, so I broke in. Stole him. Gave most of the relics to Hulil, but kept one for myself. A dagger. And then she grudgingly uh, gives this weapon, uh, this dagger, to you. Hulil... Oh, wait. Hmm? Wait, 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 wait. She, she's giving me the dagger? Well, she like reaches out, holds with the dagger in hand, and is like offering it to you. As a... Um, I'm, mm, I'm gonna take the mask off, and I'm gonna take the dagger like in the cloth. Like I'm not touching that shit. Okay. Uh, what's your passive perception? Fifteen. Fifteen. Goddamn. Okay. Um. Damn. As you kind of like, with the, the 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 piece of cloth, pick it up and kind of like just kind of put it on the table next to you for the time being, mm. you do notice that um, the blade is in a gilded sheath, um, and it looks very old, like it looks ancient, ancient and uh, presumably very valuable. Right, so. Um, okay. Hulil has all the other items in a site north of the village, known as Croker Cave. Say Hulil. Me and my sister. I was the one, uh, you know, I, 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 after I, you know, shortly after I started showing the same signs as, you know, the other guy who were gone, and um, broke into his cabin to try to find anything that would lead me to a cure, to no avail, and now I fear it's too late for me, so... What's the point in trying to hide anything? Did your sister also touch the dagger, or just you? Well, I... I, I, don't, I don't think so, no. Okay. 
Do you think, well... Well, it could be that simple, could it? I just try to roll everything. Because if we go visit them, and they're also afflicted, then we know it's not the dagger. But if they're not... I'm a little worried that it's the dagger. Think it's I hate to say. I... I think if something like that would be seen by clerics, wouldn't it? You'd hope so. They'd see a cursed item. Or well, know where a curse it is. It was a secret. They'd stolen it. Yeah. No, but it, like they'd know it was... Like they they'd, flashing they'd, it around. They'd figure out a curse, though, surely. So, oh, right, right, right. Oh, so you go... You you go at Isil Cross, you steal some shite. Well... Aragorn kicks the bucket, and then you steal it from Aragorn? Well, me and Aragorn were never... You know, he just is an adventurer and he found some stuff and right. I was sent here with my sister and a couple others to keep an eye on this area and steal any relics of an ancient time for the Utalot family and I did. If we went so, to go visit your sister, is there a way that we could um, show that we were you know, with you and it's fine so we don't you know, get shot outside or something? <sighs> well... She uh, takes up residence in, in Croker Cave, and um, I'm afraid I wouldn't be telling you all this if I knew I was going to survive, so as far as, you know, you're aware, that place doesn't exist and you don't know of it. Well, ironic as it might be in telling us this, your chances of survival will increase greatly. I, I mean, we're, I doubt you know, it. we're great I at doubt stuff. It. So, just for my own personal sort of uh, <clears throat> interest, you said you were hired by the, the Utalot family. Aye. To steal just from, from Argon? Like they just want, they knew Argon no, would have no, stuff no, or just, no, just here specifically? Any treasures in general. It just happened that Urgon came across quite a lot, and uh, we were right. me and my sister were in the area. And you didn't, you didn't feel any anything like, well, anything coming on or this or this uh, affliction until after you'd stolen the artifacts. Yeah, to be fair, it uh, it didn't like kick in until quite you know. A couple of weeks after, so. But now I'm afraid, judging by how fast it went for uh, all Urgon, I don't think I have much, much time left. So. Probably you know if you go to Croker Cave and you come back, I might be, be an ice cube already. Well, hopefully your sister's alright. So. The dagger is the only thing you kept. Hey, sister is all the rest. You didn't. Did you, did you see anything else? Sort of... Uh, I don't know. Vials, anything like this? Um, scroll case. Uh, what else? What else? Some arrows. Uh, so a, a jade statuette. Uh, I think that's about it. Right. And you flogged it all? Yeah. It's, uh, who will we'll have it all in Croker Cave. Whilst we're talking, I like to not touching the dagger. I like to try and create uh, just a mental image in my head, trying to remember like every minor detail of that dagger as I can, okay. and just try and get like a perfect image in my head of that what that dagger looks like. Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, well, whether or not I will, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, uh, I definitely want to try and get uh, an image so I could, if I needed to, like recreate it anyway, I could. Okay. No, I, mean... I mean, it's about all I know. Um, I know for a fact that there's nothing in uh, Urgon's cabin that got me any closer to a cure, and... Uh... Hell! If it is any of the relics that we stole, Hulil might be fucked too, you know? You never know. We'll find out. And if Hulil's not fucked, and it's the dagger... I mean, I would say best it stays with you, but maybe just... I don't know, get rid of it. Mm. We'll tackle that bridge when we get to it, I suppose. Uh, I'm not taking it. You can leave it here. It's we fine. can we can leave it here. Leave it on the table. I, yeah. I think I've got a pretty hey. good look at it, so if we need to... Alright. 
of you. Can I have just a look at like? Oh god! Like, do you mind if I just have a quick like look at how this has affected you? Just like your arm or something? Make a persuasion check. Mm. Persuasion. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirteen. She like begrudgingly, while shivering, unwraps her arm out of out of the blanket and kind of like lifts it up very slowly, and lifts up a sleeve. And you can see that on her arm, the hairs all have like the the like tips of each and in, in each individual arm hair are like frozen. It's almost like you know you showered and then you're walking outside while yeah. it's freezing and the, like it's because it's still a little moist, it starts to freeze. That if mm. that idea, pale white skin, and just. A bunch of bulging, bl thick, blue veins just all around her arm and hand. Uh, doesn't look very I mean, busy, I'll does it? I'll try and press the digitation over the top of it mm -hmm. and just see if I can clear it in any way. Nah. Just nothing. We've got a couple more friends in town. Um, one's a wizard. Mm -hmm. One's a cleric. And one's a sorcerer, so they might have a bit of a better idea how to deal with this type of thing. As Would it be alright if... As you mentioned that, mm -hmm. uh, you hear a knock on the door. As oh. your friends, tracking the footprints, have now arrived at uh, Tolgi's cabin as well. Um, <clears throat> who was leading the charge? Was it Ravimorn? Mm -hmm. we'll, say, we'll say that Rav knocked on the door and Tolgi pipes up. What now? Um, uh, we think our friends are here. Come in. Just gonna push open the door and go, Aha! <laughs> Speak you, of the devil. You now all see your, your two friends uh, in the house and on the bed, wrapped in blankets, looking pale white, blue veins all around the, the parts of her body that you can't see, shivering, uh, Togi. Uh, Elias? Doing, doing my best, like, oh. <laughs> with Rav's fucking gusto as she comes out. I'm just going to do my best to, like, diffuse the situation and be like, Oh, R <laughs> Rav, uh, Elias, uh, yeah. Fee, Fee, this is, uh, this is Tolgi. Oh, she oh, broke into the cabin. She broke into... Yeah, she, she, she told well, yeah, I mean, you she might this? have been a guest, but the no, place looked pretty dead. Right. I broke in, I broke in. Oh, uh, well, you're uh, a very uh, honest uh, what the... uh, Elias. Trying the best to look, to... Trying to look for a cure for... Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, that's pretty pointing. fair. Well, why what? did you break in looking for a cure? All right, all right, hey, let's well, relax with the fucking third degree or whatever, uh, Elias. Well, right. Ne ne Nesri, this point is like pulling on Elias is like, sh like arm, let's like just a little say bit. That oh, Elias. If you <laughs> come across an affliction that only one other person in town also suffered from. That's the first place you go look to see if he made any advancements towards knowing where a cure might be, right? Doesn't seem that. Before we go to on, me. I'm gonna point to the dagger. It's what the fuck Elias, I, I, I need <laughs> to know. I need to know what that is. Um, before you do, to, to identify to identify something, do you have to touch it? Yes. Don't identify it then. Just I no. Just take I, magic on it first. Of course, it's fucking magic. Look at it. No, Do you I recognize know. anything about the dagger just from looking at it? Uh, make a, either an arcana or a history check, whichever one is more beneficial. Same modifier. Oh, fair enough. The dagger uh, that was on the receipt. 20. 30, 20? Yeah. Uh, you recognize the dagger to definitely be a relic of the fallen flying city of Aeor. Yeah. Woo! So, okay. Um... That was on the receipt, right, Lore? There was a dagger, an Aorian dagger on the receipt. I was about to ask, was there any description, or did it just say... Just say Aorian. Aorian dagger. They, they all no... said Aorian. Okay, okay, okay. Hear, me, hear me out on this. Our guy, clearly an adventurer, had adventuring gear at his home. Crossed over to, to the Aorian ruins, looking around. Lots of money in those magic items. Found something. Found quite a few things. Brought them back. Something made him sick. You were also sick. 
Were you sick before or after you got the dagger? Did you get the dagger when you broke into his? Sorry, Elias. I think I, I actually tried to identify it, not a, fucking interrogate. I broke in Hold Mr. Here. Pelt's curiosities because I figured out that he sold all of his shite to them. It wasn't an interrogation. It's a question. I okay. will, I will so, fill so, in so, the so, group of what we know. Show. You fill in the group of what we yeah. know. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. I'll, I'll I was like, um, just to... It would be the, like, just to avoid the questions we've already asked. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, who runs Pelt's curiosities? Sorry, Polk. Polk. Have they come down with this illness? Um, Ferla. Not as far as I'm, I'm aware, no. As far as I'm aware, I'm the only one. Besides, you know, we're gone. Does Pelk wear gloves all the time? Uh, Miss Pelk. Sometimes she she handles, you know, a lot of. Uh, a lot of, um, you know, relics, old, uh, old things that ha you have to handle with care. So y y I wouldn't be surprised if she did. I'm not sure. Mm. I guess maybe we go to Pelk's curiosities next. Or I can't. I can't. Alone. I can't leave it. I can't not touch it. Pass me the right. dagger. No. Do it. I'm gonna sit down and start ritual casting. Identify. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 before you touch it, or as he's reaching for it, just in case, I'm gonna cast resistance on, on, on Elias. Okay. So you get a d4 <laughs> to a saving throw if you have to make a saving throw when you touch it. You identify the, uh, dagger, and besides the fact that it looks old, um, it, it definitely... has been uh, sharpened by magical means, but other than that... doesn't scream Almost? cursed blade to you, it just seems like a very sharp dagger that looks very old and ornate. Magically sharp. So, oh, I mean, is, I... Uh, 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 what's the word thing we were looking at using for it? Yeah, it's a plus one dagger. I forgot the fucking, like, thing that we talked about. Like greater, superior, yeah. legendary, or something. It's, like it'd be a yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, superior, no greater dagger would be no a greater dagger. Go with like dagger. healing potions, yeah, yeah. greater. Yeah, all oh, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, it's a plus green. one, so a, a greater yeah. dagger. A yeah. greater dagger. Nothing well, like greatness. It hasn't killed me, and the only enchantment it has upon it is. For the purpose of making it a more lethal dagger, so to be fair, it hasn't killed Togi yet either. So we'll just see how you're doing in a couple weeks. Two. But I trust your intuition, and as far as I know, I'm the only one who uses daggers. So yeah, I well. mean, it might not necessarily be the items. If we're running on the working theory, that whatever. This is comes from Aeorian ruins. It could be some sort of curse. I still, it could be some sort of disease. But I Tolgi was never out of the ruins. I still think it's linked to those no. files. And I tell um, Ludwig and Neswin about the receipt and that there are hmm. the two blue vials. And we they, we know they both did. I'm so sorry, Torgi. Did you say you went to Pelk's Curiosities? Like you've been to the physical place as well? Hey, I broke in and I saw all the shit. Yeah, so maybe it's something at that location that they've both come in uh, contact uh, with. If you That's stole everything magical. from that antique shop, well, everything you were looking for a cure. I'm sorry. Uh, Did you steal these? And I give her, I show her my list, what I wrote down in my journal, the items on the receipt. I yes, I did. I I yeah, I, they're with her sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where we need to go now. That's so it's go. one of these things, maybe. We not need to go mm -hmm. to the curiosity store to see if they have been afflicted. Yes. Or it goes to their sister, because that's where the items currently are. Oh. Right. I don't, we Both. don't know if it's... Yes, we need to go to the Curiosity yeah. Shop, and yes, we need to go see... All of the above. If, if Pilk has All of it. contracted whatever this is, they would definitely strengthen a theory that it's related to the handling of the items. Same for for uh, Tolga's, Tolgi's sister, so... But it could entirely be coincidence. 
All right. <sighs> if it the is, more and more this goes. Out of luck. They say the more and more this goes on. I think it is coincidence, but I just, Let's I just don't know vote. anymore. Vote for either the curiosity I shop. I mean, the curiosity shop's in town, right? Where's fucking no, Croker going. Cave? Um, Croker Cave is up north, just outside town. The curiosity shop is. Oh. Let's go in town then. In town, yeah. Okay. okay. The one then the other. Before do you mind closing go. the door on your way out? To, you before go. we go, Toki, do you want some soup for that you're making? Uh, if you could pour me a bowl, I wouldn't. What's your What's your favorite flavor? Just of anything. Or... Probably the one that's in the pot, Nesway. Not necessarily. Not all ingredients could be here to make it. Well, I've got a soup going not... in the uh, in the fire. If you just want me to pour, I me a bowl will from that. get the soup. Go oh, pass soup, and I will cast. Press the digitation to change the flavor to whatever I would think their favorite flavor would be to make it just seem warmer and more comforting. Roast beef. Yeah, something like that. Beef and onion. <laughs> Scoville pepper. Beef and onion. <laughs> you, hand, you, you hand her a Nine's bowl. Big uh, she like shiveringly with a spoon. Make it oh, I've done myself this time. I've, oh, wow. But I remember this recipe that I used. This is, this is good. All right. Well, make sure you um, write it down, please. If you, if we manage to pull you through this, I uh, expect an introduction to say the Utawat family, because um, see what got, I can if do. We've got contracts going. See what I can do. All right, let's go find your sister. Well, let's go to the curiosity shop. And and then find the sister. Aye. Okay. So you leave. Onward. You leave. Uh, told you Onward. behind. Closing the door behind you, and you make your way down to the center of the village. There's a little square with some shops around it. And uh, as you approach a dark cabin that has a sign over the door which reads, Pelk's Curiosities, with the image of a curving dragon used to make the letter P. Uh, the shop appears closed, but the front door is slightly ajar. Oh, that's not a good sign. Um, While we're walking, I'm going to take my dagger out of its sheath and... Uh, you, there's a couple of you dagger. with a passive perception. Oh, that's cringe. You use a shadow blade. Right? Give me the dagger. No! I use both! What? Um, okay, well... <laughs> I want to, um... He does offhand before anyone else gets close to the door, yeah. I want to I want to scan the, the door for signs of forced entry. What's your passive perception? 15. You're right. So, but, but as you approach the door, you already start hearing things coming from inside. Oh. Whispered voices <gasps> and footsteps coming from inside the cabin. Okay, I'm gonna draw a sword and okay. sneakily move towards the door, just sort of hand back at the rest of the party as I move closer and listen in. Okay. Uh, do you like try to take a peek, like push the door open a little bit and try to have a look inside, or what do you do? I want to listen. I want to listen first, see if I can hear anything that's being said. Okay. Um, if if all you hear approaching uh, after you know the, some whispering, but you hear just. Things being chucked around, shelves being cleared out. Oh. It seems like this place is being robbed. I kick the door open as hard as I can. Hell yeah. Okay. I draw my I draw sword as well. Uh, you see five cloaked elves ransacking the shop, searching through broken debris on the floor, through furniture, shelves, and the front counter completely smashed. And all the shop's Great. wares just littered, littered around the floor. Um, because you completely took him by surprise, I'm gonna give you one mm -hmm. surprise action before we roll oh, initiative. Okay. I was about to say I want to cast two spells, but it's too late now. Too late now. Fuck. Which of these is more important? Just one action. Yeah. Just uh, just uh, a surprise turn. I'll give you a surprise. Actually. Okay. 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 Fuck it. I'll give all of you a surprise. A surprise round. One surprise round. Then we go into initiative. Okay. Fuck it. So can should I, we roll? Can I say? Are, the, are you the, just gonna deem the order of the surprise round? Yeah, okay. Ludwig will go first, and then we'll just go by. Well, I'm see. I'm gonna cast Gift of Alacrity because I wanted to cast that before we went in. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if we're gonna roll initiative before the surprise round, no, we're, no we're not rolling casting. initiative no, before it, the round. Surprise round first, then initiative. Okay. I'm gonna cast Gift of Alacrity. Okay. I'm just gonna. F f I mean, I drew my sword, I don't have my bow out or anything, so I'm gonna just run at the closest guy and fucking <laughs> take a take a couple swings, I guess. Okay. Christ, bitch! Go for it. Wait until we find out uh, this is a moving company. <laughs> 16? 16, uh, yeah, that hits, absolutely. Very aggressive. Because it's a surprise company. round, is it a sneak attack or no? Yes. 
Oh. You not care about your shit. We don't care either. We'll smash it and throw it in a ban. <laughs> uh. Is the fuck you moving service? Thirteen points of damage. Thirteen points of damage. Yo, bad, fucking big swings. And then I'm gonna. Fall. Um, yeah, I'm gonna follow up with a. I, I have two. Wait, I do have two short swords, right? I don't Hold know. on. Do you? <laughs> yes. No. Wait. Yes. Is that no. Ludwig or is that Logan? <laughs> oh, I guess not. I thought I thought I had two. Uh, okay. With my bonus action, I will just. Want. Oh no, I do. I have a dagger. I don't have a fucking. Okay, I have a shotgun and a dagger. Yeah. Okay. So no, offhand dagger same. attack. What do I? I there's something about two weapon fighting yeah, is different, can, but I don't you, know. What... Two weapon fighting is uh, if you use your action to use a to do a swing with your main weapon. You can use your bonus mm. action to yeah. make a swing with your offhand weapon. So that would be your dagger. But you don't add your ability modifier to the damage. Okay. No. So Which that's... I, uh, I keep ooh. forgetting. Let me see. Attack. That's a 15 oh, with the wait. dagger. That hits. Four. This one obviously gets no sneak oh, attack. Four points of damage. Four Max damage. damage. Let's go. go. Nice. Are they Max surprised? Damage, baby. Well, oh, no, in and in. Yeah, Aren't they yeah. surprised? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Doesn't he, so he doesn't get I sneak got sneak attack, sneak attack on the first he attack. Oh, first attack. I'm, look, I'm stupid. We know. It's all good. Um, okay, uh, Ferris, what do you want to do with your surprise round? Um, remind me, for guidance, where they get a D4, it says to an ability check. Does that include attack rolls? No. Or no, no, that's like a, okay. Attack rolls um, are uh, its own entity. Yeah, yeah, okay. Then <clears throat> um, I will cast less uh on it says three individuals myself rav and neswin okay d4 right yeah d4 to attacks and saving throws Let's put d4 this one says attack I, in the I regret giving ferris the victory right. the so uh elias you use your surprise <laughs> round to cast uh gift of alacrity gift of alacrity uh ravimorn uh i'm gonna cast mage hand Okay. And I want to try and grab one of the elves. Ooh. It's like ransacking. Can you roll a grapple check for me with your mage hand, please? Yeah. Can mage hand grapple? Okay. Hold on. I think it's like only 10 pounds, right? Is the maximum weight you can hold. Oh. I thought it could probably <laughs> hinder weak. someone. It probably couldn't hold them in place. But it could no, definitely, no, like. So you can use action to control your hand. You can use hand to manipulate an object, open an unlocked door container. Uh, you cannot grapple with a mage hand. You cannot use mage hand for that. Sorry. Prop the Sorry. undercarriage, though. And scare the fuck big, out of them. Big these hands as well. That's it. That's the one I was thinking of. Um, <laughs> never mind. In that case, I'm just gonna cast fireball at the same. What I was gonna grapple. Fireball or firebolt. <laughs> Bolts. Okay, okay, okay. Just making sure because I heard fireball and I was like, wait. Hey. <laughs> Big difference. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, which one are you? Uh, are you just attacking one of the four that hasn't been hit yet or the one that uh, Ludwig the one that, one currently... of the ones that hasn't been hit. Okay, yeah, sure. Roll an attack. Uh, 19 to hit. That hits. Uh, where about my d10? That is. <laughs> 10. 10 points of damage? Fire damage. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Okay, is that your turn? That's my turn. Neswin, for your surprise round. Foibles. I will. Uh, I'll pull out both my my scimitar and my short sword. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll just run it to one one time, been hit yet. Okay. Just gonna plug and go for it. Oh, excuse me. Uh, that's a tw uh, 21 to hit on the first one. That hits. Be my scimitar. Scimitar. For eight points of damage. And then bonus action, I will offhand with my short sword. Uh, that is a 13 to hit. You that can hits. add a d4 to it. Oh, no, no, no. oh I can. Oh. Uh, 13 hits. 14 to hit. And 13 already hits. <laughs> Didn't have to use it. I said it, it hits. Now he, feel now he feels better about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but it's fine for two, for two points. Isn't this a fishing vintage? Yeah. 
He's a Triton. He has automatic excuse to try on them. Okay, uh, let's get into some initiatives then, gamers. I get advantage because of my new mace. Pog. You get advantage on initiative? I do. Mm -hmm. Part of me wants to say that would be amazing for Elias, and part of me also wants to say, like, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But I'll, I'll swap you the arrow and dagger if you really want. Nice. Wow. Okay. First time I actually caused damage with this character. Nice. 20 plus on initiative, <laughs> anyone. Uh, hang on, I have to roll my second dice. Sorry. Penis about it. Um, well, it was a mediocre roll of a nine. Oh, do I so get... that puts me to a twenty-one. Do I get blessed on <laughs> initiative as well on that? I assume not. Uh, it just says it, a bit, initiative con is considered an ability check, so yes. It no, because bless doesn't say ability check. Bless oh, no, says you didn't attack guidance roll you or saving him. throw. Yeah, so it's only so, no. attacks and saves. Sorry, okay. I was thinking about guidance. I stupid. Yep. Yes, you are. <laughs> Look, right. so she changed what special she was going to cast. Uh, 15 to 20? I got 15. I got 15 as well. Which one of you has the higher decks? Probably, Probably you, right? Ludwig. Probably Ludwig. My plus decks three? Is... Yeah, mine's plus one. You're good. Okay. Ludwig. Ladies. All right. Um, 10 to 15? 5 to 10. 7, baby. 7. Oh, no, Rav, no. Eight. Eight. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Eight and seven Fast for the fish, Rav and uh, Neswin. All right, Elias, you get to go first. <sighs> okay. Um, how many are there in here? Five. Five hooded Five. elven individuals. Or cloaked, rather. Um, thanks to um, all the, the debris on the floor. Debris. Debris. Um, it's a bit harder to navigate through the debris, so this will technically be difficult terrain. Okay. How far would I have to go to get to one of them? Uh, if you go your full mm. movement, or like half your movement, I guess, because all you're going to move, you'll, you'll be able to reach the same one that, that Ludwig is now uh, quite engaged with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... I sort of don't want to blow my load on this because I feel like these aren't going to be the, the scariest thing we're going to fight today. But who knows? Could uh, be. It's only a plus three bonus. Fuck it, if I die here, I'll be pissed at myself. <laughs> uh, I'll travel 15 feet forward. I will cast uh, Shadow Blade as my bonus action. And again, from underneath my left arm draw out this blade of congealed shadow so sick it's fucking cool mm -hmm. uh, I'll, I'll draw out my fucking dagger as well even though i can't use it this turn okay and just fucking stab the man stab wait was that you're stabbing the same one that uh, ludwig is fighting yeah okay. it's the only one i can get yeah, true, yeah, yeah true, true. I'm just going to continue the theme of stealing Ludwig's kills. There. It still only counts as one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> natural 19, so... Yeah, that'll hit. That'll hit. 24. Uh, okay. I was really tempted to... No, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm getting greedy and I'm wasting possibilities if I do that. Mm-hmm. That is eight points of psychic damage. Eight points of psychic damage. Looking rough, but still, still kicking. Uh, well, that was my bonus action to cast, so I'm done. All right. Uh, easy, one easy of the bandits whips out. Uh, hold on, real quick. Put your fucking knob away. Put your fucking knob away. <laughs> uh, he whips out uh, a, a light crossbow. <laughs> Seeing as uh, one of his allies is in uh, grave peril, and is going to fire a crossbow at Elias. Bam. Uh, sixteen plus three, nineteen to hit. Elias, Ethan. Yes. 
19 hit? I'm, yeah. Yeah, it's a 19! I'm a wizard! Why are you asking? <laughs> I got to ask, bro. No, oh, is it? Oh, is it? I'm just <laughs> there on the floor and he's <laughs> stamping on me. Does this because hit? you are uh, engaged with uh, one of his allies, he does get sneak attack. Oh, okay. shit. He's a fucking rogue? They're, they're burglarizing okay, I changed right my now. Mind. What do you think they are? <laughs> Chrono shift. Okay. Eryx. Okay. Okay. I'm allowed to do it after I find out what it fails or succeeds. So, so, so he has to reroll? Uh, yes. And you just roll again. Uh, 18. Fuck! Ha! I rolled one less. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> so, you well. take... Hmm... 11 plus 5 is 16, plus 3 is 19. It's like 19 points of piercing damage. I'm bloody. This bolt has just gone yeah, through as my fucking shoulder. Bolt just fires and just jams in your side. You just. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts. I need to make a concentration check. Oh. The Shadow Blade. I'm fine. It was You're... like an 18 natural, so. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Minus 7. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> it can't save. It's twenty-one. So. Ludwig, it's it's your turn. Your turn. Mm. I guess I. Uh... <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move around the guy that uh, Elias and I are engaged with. Okay. Shank him in the f fucking back. Okay. Did, are we doing flanking? Is that? Sure. Yeah. So I get, so I can have advantage. Absolutely. You can't You're see because I'm bleeding in his eyes. You're <laughs> not gonna fucking believe this, but I rolled a one and a two. <laughs> oh! I can believe it. If anyone, it would be Koiba. So I'm just gonna go in with the dagger now instead, I guess. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, which is a twenty-four on. to hit. That hits. Do I get sneak attack on this one despite do, the yeah. miss? Okay, so it's your a first, D4 your first hit, like and attack that hits of the of the round. Yeah, we'll get sneak attack. Yeah. Okay, three. Oh, 14 points of damage with the dagger. And with that, you Ooh. shank Ooh. him in the back with a dagger, twist the blade, and pull it upwards along his spine before you pull him back out. And he just, yeah, he, he drops dead. Uh, and like, then, <laughs> do, do I, I mean, I, I moved around him, so probably like five feet. Mm -hmm. do, do I have the movement to just like move to another another men's? Uh, yeah, the shop isn't that big. They're all like, uh, all the buildings here are just like log cabins. And this one has multiple stor stories, but it's still like very okay. small yeah, so I'll just... and fine. So yeah. <laughs> eviscerate that one guy and then immediately turn and just like dart to another looking menacing yes yes they turn yes sir Ferris. um who looks there's there's one of them that looks pretty hurt right that they were both attacking one of them uh no that one that looked ben. pretty hurt has just been cut down by, oh he's uh, oh okay yeah Me, um I look pretty hurt. the dying. one that fired the crossbow at elias is still up or, or the uh, one that you're yes, yes. All right, I'm gonna go run at that one with my mace. Smashy, smash. What's your movement speed? Thirty feet. You're not quite gonna be able to get there, fortunately, because uh, of Balls. difficult terrain. Because you have to like, fucking, p yeah. wade yourself along well, like all those debris okay, and broken gonna, shells and shit. I'm gonna still move, do, go my full movement and walk towards him, like shield up, mace out, looking intimidating, mm -hmm. and then. Bonus action. I did I not, do I not have I have that spell? What do you mean I don't have that spell? Hold on. Hold on. Look at my list. I do have it. It's a bonus action. Don't fucking lie to me. I will. Spiritual <laughs> weapon. Actually, I could do a full act. No, I can't. Why can't you? Before I before I started moving, I could touch Elias. Right? I was in. Uh, Elias no. is, is gone in. He's in melee with. Oh no, he's in. in. Moving will yeah. have brought you to right. like close to Elias. Go closer. Okay. Well then, I will bonus action cast healing word oh. on Elias. Alrighty. So you Thank you much, Lee. For... I might not die now. 
<laughs> and then I need to look at what life domain does. Oh, you could kill wounds in though. Every time. No, see, that, walk... that's touch, I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah but you, you just walked forward, in next to him. Next you next to you him. went into the building cool next to him. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I'm but it do depends that if you want to cantrip shoot at someone. As I your don't, because I have my shield and mace out. Because I'm get, I'm trying to like look scary and take attention, so I, I can't cross both. <laughs> so I'm gonna instead cast. Yeah, I'll go up to Elias and cast cure wounds. Um. Okay. Looking scary. Have some healing. Scary. Oh, that's that's ter everyone knows the healer is the most terrifying member of the oh, battle group. <laughs> you kill the healer okay, first. Okay, it's what is it? You ever and... played a boss fight where they heal after you get them to the lowest HP? Uh, two plus oh. the spells level, and that's a level one spell. So that's three. So you you heal for six hit points. Woo! Nice. All right. And my I don't I don't have a bonus action. But I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna shield up so i'm hopefully will deflect any attacks that come in and then next turn i'm gonna smash something okie dokie uh the bandits actually oh, wait wait i can i can use my as i peek over the shield lightning breath at someone mm. make um, a deck save for whoever's in the straightest line from you me. can get you can get the one that shots uh, at elias yeah. and one, of, like, one yeah. of his friends that is behind him in that same line no, that Oh wait, shit, hold on, I'm so sorry. Cause I did an action spell and breath weapon's oh. an action, not a bonus. Never mind. Then my turn's over. It was your oh. wounds and movement, that's it. You made me Thank have you. a fucking you made me have you, a fucking, you made me have a fucking panic that I've misplayed my fucking guy <laughs> well, this whole for fucking minute, time. For a minute I still thought yeah. I'd cast like healing well. word, which is a bonus. Gotcha, so I gotcha, could do gotcha. it, gotcha. but I didn't. I cast your wounds. Okay. It's very it's um, complicated. The bandit that got firebolted by this frog like individual. Is going to yeah just to fire his uh, crossbow at, at 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 Rav with an eleven to hit. That's not going to hit, is it? Nope. So you you Get duck uh, and the crossbow bolt just in, in the wall behind you. <laughs> um, and then another bandit from like the back line is going to take aim and seeing Ludwig eviscerate one of his allies is going to take a take a shot at Ludwig. Oh, do I have uncanny dodge now? I don't know, do you? It's five, I think. I think it is five. I think it's fifth. Yeah. Instead of getting an extra attack, you get that. Yeah, no, I I, I, I don't have it. Let's see, uh, 22 to hit. Um, just hits, yeah. Mm, yeah, shame. Um, yeah. He doesn't get sneak attack because the, al the one of his allies that you were hanging out with died, so that, there is that. So it's just a straight fucking crossbow bolt damage, nothing else. Um, You take... Oh, I rolled a one Not to shoot die. myself in the foot, I did run into melee with someone else though, right? You did, true. You're right. So he does get sneak attack. Imagine being the honorable person. Being so honest. We're not going to be like this in uh, campaign 2, though. Do we care about those characters? You take a total of 13 points of piercing damage. Ah, uh, it is but a scratch. As a, a crossbow bolt kind of like clips you in the shoulder and then kind of uh, mostly a flesh wound like goes straight through, doesn't really hit any bone or anything, but definitely leaves a mark. Um, that's his turn. That bandit is dead. The last remaining bandit that hasn't had a turn yet is going to... I mean, yeah, look at the scary dragonborn lady that mm -hmm. proposed herself as a target and is going to fucking shoot at her. With a fucking seven to hit, so probably not. So nope. shoots, shoots his crossbow, and it just it just the, sh the bolt shatters on your shield. Hell yeah. Um, Rav, it is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna cast firebolt again okay. at the same guy. Cause fuck that guy specifically. Mm -hmm. <laughs> fuck this man in particular. Uh, oh. eighteen. Eighteen hits. Yes. Oh, 11 damage, max 11 damage? damage. Nice. Yeah. You firebolt this dude, and he just starts to scream as his clothing start, his cloak starts to set fire, and you see just like this running fireball before it eventually fizzles out, and he just drops to the floor, no, no longer moving. Try and shoot me, you little fuck. <laughs> Anything else you want to do with the turn? Okay, I'm done. All right. Nah, that's it. Uh, Neswin. I just go up to whatever the next person go up to is. And of course, is the one I stabbed previously still alive? Yeah, yes. Oh, he is? Oh, I'm just gonna fucking stab that dickhead. Mm -hmm. Go for it. 
Oh, that bounced right out of my fucking dice trap miles. Jesus. Uh, that is a 17 to hit. That hits. Oh, that's another dice one. Konami. Konami for 8 points damage. 8 points of damage, not bad. Looking very, looking very rough. Bonus action, stab him again. Ooh, that is uh, 11 to hit. Oh, no, it's not. Hang on. I got my d 4 It is... I get 15. Last. 12 to hit. Oh. 12. Yeah. Just hits. Ooh. Yay! Uh, oh, five points of damage. Five points of damage? Yeah, he uh, also mm -hmm. drops to the floor as you oh, just jam just... both of your blades into his body and just kind of like push him down on his knees and remove the, both the blades and he just, yeah, he crumbles. He just... Sorry! <laughs> that uh, leaves two bandits up, three two uh, taken bandits. care of, and it's back to Elias. The guy that shot me, he's still up, right? Correct. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And how far away is he? Uh, it would take your full movement because you've already moved into the store. So yeah, one more. Like, full I could get, get into melee with him. Yeah, you could. Okay, I walk up to him. Okay. I stab him with my shadow blade. Oh, for it. Just scroll up and stab. Yep. Uh, natural nineteen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fuck this guy. Mm. You're me, you son of a bitch. Twelve points of psychic damage. Twelve points. Yep. Very good. Is he still up? Yes. I stab him with my dagger. Go for it. Uh, 14. Uh, it's like a dirty 20. That'll hit. Uh, for five points of five points damage. Yeah, it's a plus one, isn't it? All right. Uh, that is just enough to take him down. Uh, Fuck you. With that. As there's only one bandit left, he immediately drops his crossbow, puts his hands up. I surrender? Yeah, you do. And, uh, unless you decide to still just fucking brutally cut him down. I'm, oh, I want to immediately go... Suggest we, uh, Were you here for anything in particular? Or just general theme? Is it break time? I think it's break time first, because I gotta walk my dogs. But, okay. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll pick okay. it up with uh, homie surrendering and uh, then... My immediate question I mean, when we get back. Yeah, exactly. My first thing I do is I like, twirl both my swords and put them back into the nice, hole. Nice. Like a bed. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta, I gotta quickly go walk like my dogs guns. and stuff, but then yeah. we'll be back and uh, see what the hell is causing this fucking freak disease that is causing people to just freeze. Um, like they should. Free. Thanks for hanging out with us so far, chat. We'll be back in about 10-ish uh, minutes, give or take, maybe 15, depending on if the dogs... Mm -hmm. uh, Don't forget to check yeah. out the subreddit yeah, and look at the, the things, art we revealed the today in better stuff. detail. Yeah. We'll be back uh, in a bit for more of this wild mount adventure uh, called... Um, oh, yeah. What's it called again? Fuck. Frozen Sick. Um, frozen... Which sounds like a cocktail at a really dodgy dive bar.
way. Hi. Hello. Uh, Hello. We're back, baby. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Thanks for around. Infernum. Thanks for the follow, gamer. Appreciate you. Um, so, as the final remaining bandit immediately drops his weapons, puts his hands up, and surrenders, what were you asking, uh, Ferris? Were you here for something specific or just interested in general thievery? Brigand! Are you trying to be intimidating? Yeah. Brigand. Make an intimidation check. You have violated the law. <laughs> You're still in good uh, Tell us what you know. 17. Pay the fine or serve your sentence. I, um, I, 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 I work for Hulil, uh, Lutan, uh, dwarf priestess of Tiamat, and she works for the Utalot family, and, uh, she got sick. Cursed, some kind of affliction. She moves very Fuck slowly, me. veins turn blue, and she ordered us to come to this shop and trash it in search of potions, scrolls, and other items that might help cure her. So um, the priestess is sick. But I haven't found this. anything useful. You're a little and... sick. Her yes. Sister. Yeah. Where's the Where's the shop owner? I don't know. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold on, hold on. Did. Out of character. The name he said, is that Torgi's sister? Torgi. Yeah. Torgi's sister, so, yeah. So Torgi's sister is yeah. a priestess for Tiamat. Tolgi. Did Tolgi. we all just miss? Tolgi. Oh, Torgi. Sorry. Yeah. But yeah. priestess for Tiamat. That's 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 mildly concerning. Okay. okay. Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Maybe it's I mean. your religious character. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know where Verla is. Sh um, upstairs, maybe? I can't imagine her still being asleep with all the noise we've made, but she hasn't come down, so... Can I go? Hey. I don't know. I want to head upstairs okay. uh, to see if I can find the shop owner. Pelk. Pelk. I'm going to start patting down for, bodies uh, for... Uh, yeah, you reckon this, I'm patting this down bodies for coin and maybe instructions, notes, anything it? like that. Okay. Um, Do you reckon that this bandit's got anything more useful to tell us, or mm, we don't? No. This is about as useful as uh, he will be. Anyone else got anything they want to ask? Make an investigation check, uh, Ludwig. Oh, I throw my shadow blade at him from across the room. Oi, what? You kill him? Roll, yeah, roll and I can throw it. I can ro throw it 20 feet. I was going to bring him to a guard. They could imprison the guy. Yeah, what? Uh, eight <laughs> on my investigation, by the way. Uh, You find like a total of five gold pieces spread around, spread around the, the dead bucket. bandits. 16. 16 hits, yeah. Uh, 14 points of psychic damage. The Shadow Blade, like, just buries itself in his shoulder, and he just... Ah! I, I don't know anything else, I swear! I did... Let me go, please? Whoa! Um, it well, unfortunately... Unfortunately, it's a no-go on the uh, letting you go. Um, you can't you're take me to a guard, though. That's yeah, fine. you're going to be coming with us die. to a guard. No, you won't. Now, I'm going to look over and be like, no, stop it, you. <laughs> you are going to take it. You're going to take it to the proper authorities to be dealt with, not by us mercenaries. Please keep him away from oh, me. Oh, you. I'm going to take him take him out, Find a, just find the nearest guard and be like, arrest this man. Okay, yeah, I'm going to so do the thing where I just... I say, shout, guards! Uh, as you go outside, you, you find the nearest guard and you handle that, and he gets taken away and gets someone cool. to tend for his wound that is now Get in his shoulder. Get out of here! Um, Rav, you went to check for Verla's like private quarters, see if she's there. Yeah. Uh, as you enter, is that the sister? as you enter uh, Verla Pelk's <laughs> private quarter uh, in her shop. What appears to be an ice statue of an elf is bundled beneath the blankets of a bed along the east wall of the room. A small table uh -oh. loaded with dirty teacups and a kettle stands next to the bed. Uh -oh. look at... I want to go have a look at the ice... Ice body of Pelk. I'm assuming it's Pelk. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good assumption, I think. <laughs> Pretty safe. The figure in the bed is indeed Verla Pelk, uh, infected with the same uh, frig frigid woe uh, as Urgon, um, Tol Tolgi, and now also Hulil, apparently. Can I 
can I like examine her and see if I can figure anything out like arcana wise? Um, well, she's encased in like this solid block of ice. It's not just that she's frozen okay. solid. She's literally like encased in just this ice cube. Ah, uh, okay. That's what you can figure out arcana wise. Yeah, that's what you can figure yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. There's probably something to do with magic or a curse. You're not sure. <laughs> like there was like a block, not just This like doesn't just strike you as something that just kind of happens naturally. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like a, a fucking high school <laughs> hazing prank. Someone's come in and they've just put little bits of water on her at a time, use freezing spells, just turn her into a <laughs> that's fucked up, dude. What the fuck? Fucking kryptonite bath over here. Okay, um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go back downstairs. Okay. Are you going to let us know? Mm -hmm. Um, shop owner is now ice. Oh. So. Before or after you went out? Before. Right. So. I'm very trustworthy. Oh. <laughs> uh, so. Must be just another item then. Starts with her gone. Aragorn gives the items to the shopkeeper. Now the shopkeeper's dead. Aragorn died recently. Then... Tolgi stole it. Tolgi's on their way out. Hulil's so on their way out. Whoever has Let's these do. now we gotta, is in danger. We've got to rush over to them. It's well, not I the mean... dagger. It's not the They're also no, probably that. bad people because I don't know if you know much about Tiamat that day when they mentioned, but she's all sorts of bad vibes. Not not good. Well, not even good. more reason to go over there to try and stop if she wants to do something with them. I think at this point her main goal seems to be not turning into a human popsicle or a dwarvish Who popsicle, knows? I should say. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we don't know. Uh, I, I, I didn't walk. What? Uh, it's... No, I don't like it's this. Not. All right, so I guess we're going to find sister now. I. There's nothing really on the bodies. Really milk. In terms of instructions or anything like that. Probably. <laughs> All you know. It doesn't is sound that... like they found anything because the guy said they were here looking for it. He didn't say they found it yet. I mean, they're not clearly not the brightest fucking. Fair bulbs in the lamp or whatever well, so. i i doubt there's gonna be a cure to whatever was we'll say a curse for now it's gonna be on those items you, you tend to not put your cure for your curse on your curse item it's sure. pretty backwards to me so why mean, would it be here right curse removal mm. tends also to be more in the realm of we also just need to isolate barracks, but... what this item is so that people can stop touching well, it, might, it it might not even be an item we just we're just hoping it is. Isn't well, we know it's not the dagger, so it's either whatever's in the scroll case, if anything, the jade statuette, the vials, I think or it's the, the jade or the ring. Or the, ring. Think, or the ring. I think it's the jade yeah. statuette, personally. It seems I like a religious it's iconography. Yeah. Looks like a, a religious iconography could be, you know, using some sort of ritual to do this, and it's cursed. Want to make a friendly plausible. wager? Ten gold. Ten gold. It's the. It's related to the blue vials. It's the jade statue. Done. Yeah. Shaker, yeah, it's shaker, also shaker. entirely plausible that it's transmissible person to person rather than through these items. Clearly, these individuals have been in each other's well, vicinity. True. What's up? But uh, we've also the... been in their. I can't speak. It took two months for <laughs> these to die. So if we're dead in about weeks. eight weeks or so, we'll know it's either the dagger or person to person rather than the other items. Oh, that's beautiful news. <laughs> The um okay so when when uh Tolgi told us mm -hmm. about the things that she found she didn't mention the ring did she Oh that was a DM oversight Okay she just make it sure she would have totally mentioned that She she would have said everything all right she, just she said everything checking. on the receipt Yeah yeah I was like, oh, hold on, the ring. I don't remember Tolgi mentioned the ring, but no, okay. No, that's, that's making sure. I forgot about the ring. Favorite, yeah. do you still have the wand? Yes. I mean, I hope so. I gave you the wand yeah. if you lose. Yeah, I have it, it. I have it. I have it. 
I mean, we could always check while we're here. There might be something of at least value to us. Ah, uh, sure. Use the wand and cast Detect Magic. It's not grave robbing if they've not been buried yet, right? We're in a fucking antique shop. Everything's going to be magic, no? I know, that's what I thought. I was like, well... Not um, everything not that's everything, antique is magical. But uh, a couple of things do uh, appear on your uh, magical radar. Um, <laughs> that you, you go look and... There's a, a case with a, with a few potions kind of stashed away. All right. Uh, two uh, regular healing potions and one um, greater healing potion. Yeah, okay. Any jewelry? Any potions? I'll say, I will, I'll tell the group about the potions. I'll wait to see what else I find out from the Other ping. That, oh, does it make uh, it visible to everyone or is it just me that they're magical? Just you. Just you. Okay, just you. yeah. So I, that, I'm like, there's some potions um, over there. There's a I couple of a couple of couple of uh, trinkets that. Okay. You, I mean, yeah, they were just shop items. You're not sure what they are or what they do, but there, there seems to be some kind of magical aura around them. Oh, 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 ooh, okay. I mean, it seems pretty. Is there any that look very intense? Like, it, is it just like there's the same aura for anything magical, it's or just does the spell the tend to? Just the school of magic. It's the school of magic, but like that's it. You don't get. And let's go. Let's go through that process again where we talk about by demanding the school of magic. No, 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 no. It's so weird. Because I'm, I'm just gonna mention the potions. I will not tell the. Like I feel like as from a game standpoint, I'm looking for. After five editions of Dungeon Dragons, they would have found a way to either make that a little easier for a DM to look up, or just have every magical item. With its school. With its school listed. You know what I mean. Yeah. I don't, know. Yeah. Like, I don't know why they don't. Um, do that. I mean, we already on D and D Beyond. You have icons next to spells and shit for like concentration and ritual. Yes. Why can't they well, just spells... put an icon for the school of magic? Yeah. They, exactly. Spells do get the school, don't they? Yeah, spells but do, but not, no items don't. Not items. Yeah, but it's yeah for items. Yeah. Yeah. And, like, I don't um, know why we don't get that D and D or Wizards of the Coast get on it. I I, I want to just look for like you know trinkets and shit. Yeah. For... Make an investigation check. So and Elias, I'm assuming you picked up the nine. Potions. Nine, uh, all you find yeah. is just wreckage of broken antiques. Uh, some things that, if whole, would have probably been worth a quite the pretty penny, but unfortunately, in their broken state, worthless. I love that. That's like what, what my fucking least favorite thing about D&D sometimes is like, we're literally in an antique shop, and I'm just like, oh, I can't see it. No, no, I can't see anything. <laughs> Well, you know, no, you you're see something, things, you're, you're just, just distracted not... by wreckage, and you're finding it's all broken, broken shit. Like, all the things it's you lame. see are, like, broken and destroyed. It's and like you've looked in the wreckage because you, you think find... there might be something valuable under there. You reckon that, that if these things are all still whole, there would be thousands of gold mm. worth of product in this shop, but mm. because it's all smashed... Even better. Ludwig's Even having a cry. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Let's <laughs> out of my one eye. I'm running over to the essence. Yeah, times of the essence, you gotta find who Lil, try not to get killed by her and figure out what it is. I don't believe it's the dagger, given that we've identified it, so it's whatever yeah, else that is in that. A jade statue, we've been through this. The statue, um, maybe, but like, jade, I don't know, jade's green. What colour is Jasper? Uh, does, uh... Orange. Red herring. Oh, blue herring, if you want to be. Right. <laughs> does identify also reveal if something is clear? I believe it does, doesn't it? it just reveals I, all... uh, I think it I mean, depends. It, I think it depends. It, uh, you... Some curses. There are some curses that like are not yeah, hide. discovered upon identification. Like Jasper's a, uh... red, and Jade's green, and like Steel is heavy. Ice heavy. is blue, so like, I'm not really seeing a correlation here. It, I, it's probably the vials. I mean, we can investigate all of them when we get to that point. If, assuming it is one of the items. All right. So as you have the discussion, get going. Um, look, I don't particularly you leave... want to leave one of the items, given I picked one up. Pelk's but... curiosity is behind, and as far as you're aware, this strange affliction has now killed, strange two, killed two, and is on its way to killing another two uh, victims. That's my favorite song there's, there's by the bar of William Eyelash. That you have left to to, to search, and that is. Croker Cave, where Hulil. Before we do anything else, seems to have taken uh, residence. You said there was three potions of healing. Two normal and one greater. Yeah. I'm gonna drink the greater. Okay. This fucking the. Are you having a? F mm. <laughs> what? 
We're not in danger. We're not in combat. We could take a short rest, use some hit die. Instead, you're just gonna find the first greater are healing we, potion. Are we as a group? And not in combat, you're just gonna be like, oh, I... Like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm very hurt right now. I'm gonna look at the group. Are we resting I'm very hurt or are we, right now are we going to the cave right now? I mean, go, go to the cave, right? Are we going to the cave or are we resting first? Quick decisions. Do like you already drank it. Let's go. Okay, yeah, I'm drinking it. You said you were going to drink it. saying that was drinking. dumb, and you're a dummy. I'm also going to go with what I was going to do before Duke interrupted me, okay. which is give one of the normal healings to Ludwig. Okay. Fucking... I'm half health. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, I'll take it. 15. Which right. just puts me back up to max. So as the sun has now properly set and the evening has begun, you travel north. Uh, that's the only direction you've gotten. Um, as you travel along the coastline, you see frequent signs of, of tracks as you get closer and closer to the cave, uh, where bandits have been coming and going. Uh, however, there is no sign of any patrols or guards in the area. You can see in the distance a plume of smoke rising from the ground beyond the cave entrance, venting through... Some form of natural chimney, but it definitely meets, shows to you that there's someone home. Um, upon leaving the town and asking around, you did hear mention about how Croker Cave uh, got its name. Uh, it's because it's frogs. apparently inhabited by giant ice frogs. <laughs> That's pretty OS, great. OS That's frog? Dope. Hold on. I uh, I just chrono reversed. Dutch told me, and then I used time <laughs> yep. magic to go back and spoil the joke. <clears throat> so, as you reach the cave entrance, looking inside, it's quite dark. Um, no real torchlight to be seen inside. What do you do? I have dark vision. Uh, I do not have dark vision. I'll just kind of like keep. Oh my god! Keep... I don't either. Keep below a little bit. Stop. Oh my fucking god. I'll, I'll definitely be taking the lead then. And I'll be like, oh, I'll have a little just look. No, I've got my hooded lantern. Okay. No, don't. We don't want to do any lights or changes of heat that might alert them. No, 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 are the Hello. caves... Is the cave natural? Or is there... Yes. I'll have my longbow out and just kind of... As you enter the like, cave, ha, you can ha, see ha, that the ha. ceiling is about 10 feet high um, with only 8 feet of clearance beneath a bunch of stalactites. <clears throat> um, you also notice that as you enter the cave, you're immediately met by... slow dripping water sounds where it falls from stalactites down into a murky pool that fills the rough tunnel ahead. Every few moments, a loud croaking sound comes out from somewhere in the darkness beyond. I'm just like, I hold up my hand, I'm just like... And then do you have I'm dark like, vision, I, uh, I do, 60 feet of dark vision. You can see a 25 foot long heavy wooden beam lying against the west wall uh, of the cave at the south end of the pool. Mm-hmm. Little, little tidbit I will, of information. Uh, I will quietly, you. quietly give the group that information as well. Just kind of like, I, over there, I can see a uh, a beam. It stretches off to one side. But be careful, I hear there's a croaking. Do we reckon these frog guys speak Rev? Is that like speak a frog language? I mean, they might Rav. speak Rav. Rav. I mean, um, look at that. I mean, yeah. I mean, if, kind of is. If, is there a frog language? What yeah. language is it? Is it I primordial? Do you speak I'm, it? I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna speak in Grung and say, like, mm. I don't know. <laughs> this is my language. I mean, oh, I. What's up, what's up? I can communicate. If they can breathe water, I can communicate a simple idea to them so I can say we're friendly. Well, that's good. That's good. Tell them uh, you don't want to. I think we'd be better off with just a universal frog language amongst language. sea creatures. It's more like a uh, neutral understanding, I guess, for... Great, and if we have they to... happen to have a criminal background, I, I can say I to them, but I've got a frog here. I, can't, I, can't I would like for you to make yeah. a perception check, please. Perception? Yeah. Oh, I... 
I win these boys. Uh, 18. I 18? Yeah. As you're kind of whispering and, and looking back yeah. at the murky pool, you suddenly start to notice mm. that hiding, possibly asleep, there's two giant ice frogs just like under the water line of this murky pool. Okay. They might be asleep. I can see two of them. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm just gonna start going slowly down. I kind of, uh, uh, fucking to Rav, kind of. Rav, I mean, you can follow me. We can try this. Everyone else, stay about, I don't know, 10, 20 feet behind, and we'll just slowly go down. And I'm gonna start aiming. I'm gonna start aiming to try and go to the, um, wooden beam. And just kind of like, just keep it quiet. And I'll be pointing out any like thing difficult, difficult terrain or like any like gaps, anything like that, you, where I can see uh, ahead as you of get them. Towards the beam, you can now see far enough up ahead to see that there is two exits out of this uh, this this area. One that goes southeast and one that goes southwest. Does it look like there's any markings on either side, or is it hard to tell with my it's black and white it's vision? It's very dark, and even yeah. with dark vision, yeah. it's pretty hard to make out details yeah. okay. and such. I will. Kind of wait for everyone to. I'll just keep on going. Time like right at the bottom, like where. Is, okay, can I stand like in between the two exits, or is it kind of like one on one far side, one on the far other? Is it kind of? Uh, like, you can. Kind of you can. You can. Like that. Uh, I would like for you to make a stealth check, please. Oh. Oh, well, this is happening. Can Me I too. cast mage armor on myself? Anyone that is entering the murky pool, which you kind of have to if you're following Neswin, uh, make a stealth check. Yeah. So just all of you. Well. Uh -oh. Okay. That's, oh, a yeah. that's, a, that's a fifteen. That's a fifteen. Is the how deep is the murky Dutch? How deep's the murky pool? The murky pool is um, ten foot deep. Oh, okay. Never mind. I, mean, I like, can go deep. I mean, I mean. That's what she also, like... also, t also tempted to do that. I'm just there, like I see stuff, and I'm like, I've got my bow out, and it's like, ah. so obviously. Uh, <laughs> You can go around the the sides where it's a little yeah. less deep, so you don't have to swim. Yeah. But if you want to go like straight down the middle, you'll you, you'll be able to you, you won't be able to stand. You'll have to swim. Like that's fine. I, I, I want to do that. I want to swim. I mean, I, 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 on the edge. seeing I this only... seeing this swim chance, I'm gonna stay on the edge. Um, how much closer to the frogs do we get if we go for the swim option? Very, very close. We reckon. Rav can play it off as if she's one of them. <clears throat> yeah, smart. That is kind of my thinking. Oh, is that like maybe Rav could be a but, um, little slow? Give me, give me but your yeah, stealth rolls real quick, all of you. Fifteen. Uh, Nineteen. Twenty-one. Okay. 15, Eight. Nineteen. Thirty. Twenty-one. Thirty. Thirteen. Oh, thirteen. I was gonna say what the fuck. Thirteen. Eight. Eight. Okay. Yeah, I have disadvantage on stealth. <laughs> Oh no. I have advantage on stealth. Okay. And, uh... oh. For some reason. <laughs> I took expertise in uh, stealth. The two ice frogs in this particular pool don't seem to notice you as you're kind of I'm wading dead. your way through. But now there's a choice to make. Do you go southeast or southwest? No. I will say. I will. Um, say What's the deal with the beam? Yes, I'm going to say that. Ludwig, you can, can you shine some light and see if there's a difference between the in the in where the beam goes or these two exits? Uh, kind of point them out. The beam is kind of just tossed to the side right now. Um, if you, once you get closer, you can see that the beam is long enough to go from the one side of the murky pool to the other, and you reckon that it's just something the bandits use to easily cross the murky pool uh, and not what? disturb the toads that live underneath. Why am I up to my fucking ass crack in murky water right now? Because it's like tossed to the side. It's not. It's not currently. Position as a bridge is now just kind of like a toss to the side of the, of the cave of the cave. It was on the oh, other yeah. side. Yeah. Mm, okay, right. So you said there's two exits. Uh, there's two yeah. paths. How far are we from them? Southeast or southwest, and they're both kind of like it's kind of like a like a fork in the road kind of thing. Like they're. I will, I will ask you to like shine your light to see them like very dimly. I'm gonna shine my light. So okay, is this in the water? Is this you, we get out of the water out of the and then water we're facing the and fork? And continue okay. down the cave. Yeah. As everyone gets out of the water, I want to station wanna... them dry. I want to. Just hey, have a little look, way. shine shine with the lantern, see if there's any differences. I want to look for signs of thieves' camps that might mark the correct way or okay. warnings of traps or anything Make like that. Make an investigation that. check to look for the thieves' camps. Oh, my investigation is so trash. But that's a 17. You don't notice any, any markings? 
Okay. What you do notice by just investigating both of the potential routes that is the south uh, western one is more of a, a more narrow tunnel, whereas the southeastern one is more of a like larger room or area. Um, mm, I'm gonna start making a move down the one that opens up into a larger room. Okay. And I'm gonna keep an eye for traps. Okay. Um, we, I, I could send Harry on down the other way if we want to check both at the same time. I could always do that. Uh, can he see in the dark? No, but he's got very good hearing. It's fair, I suppose. Just more worried that, yeah, I don't know, runs into something, alerts someone. Oh but no! A ferret. It's a good call. <laughs> I mean, but where'd you see a ferret out in the um, snow? In a cave. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it'd be where fine. can he see? Alright, so do you Pass send the frog. your homie out or no? I lost ferret. I, I'm sending a Harry on the ferret down the okay. other direction. Yeah. And I'm absolutely blind right now. Okay, so you can you can hear what he hears as well, right? I can hear what he hears and see what he, he's, okay, he okay. sees. So which is nothing, because he doesn't have dark vision. Uh, and as as he kind of opens up into a room where you hear more dripping water uh, from the ceiling. This is the, the narrow room. tunnel, right? Yeah. Uh, in the yeah. southwest corner of this of this tunnel, another murky, pretty deep looking pool, and uh, a wooden bucket seems to sit near the edge of the pool with a lid on it. Um. You also see down like around the corner. A dwarf and two elves bundled in layers of winter clothing, throwing dead bats into the air. Two giant blue-skinned frogs leap up to snatch the bats in midair, seemingly as part of some training session. Do I need to make a stealth check for Harion? Sure, yeah. I think I'm using weasel dark. stats because there's no ferret, so... Yeah, we've been through uh, this. I didn't know if we had... What? Twelve. Twelve? Sorry, I did a quick bit. I spoke away. That's before food. Man, uh, no, you, you don't seem to get noticed. I'm. The I can't hear or see any of you. Occupied eating the bats, uh, getting trained. They're in the narrow tunnel. They're training the frogs like some sort of weird circus show with bats. Hmm. If that's the way they are, I'm a little more wary of the tunnel we're about to go down, but... They're, just, they're feeding just... them back? Yep. Oh man. I want Do you bat. want a bat? Well, we can try I and mean... catch one for you while we're in the cave. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> that's so tasty. If I see a bat, because I'm one of the taller well, members have, like, of the party, I want to try and catch it at some point. Well, funny Not you say that, because as you uh, decide to step into the circular like, cavern, mm. um, the ca this, this part a of the cave bats? reeks, and the floor seems to be guano. covered in bat guano. Mm. As no, you look up, you see a swarm up. of bats sleeping among the stalactites. Oh, I feel bad taking a sleeping one. What if it wakes them all up and they get mad? So it's Anyone up, using a light source? Me. Oh, you are? A lantern, yeah. Oh, no. Ooh, fuck me. <laughs> Thank God that glass fuck. was empty. God, what a fucked up day! <laughs> what a fucked up day! Dude. <laughs> Thank God my glass is empty. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that light source deeply disturbs the bats, and they all wake up as mm. a swarm of bats now just squeaks and squeals and just flies at you. I want to try and catch one! I would like Grab you to roll initiative too. first. <laughs> are you kidding me? Oh. We're being attacked by a swarm, swarm of bats. I'm gonna roll initiative, yeah, but I currently have no idea we're in combat, so. That worked out great for me. <laughs> I'm gonna get dinner. <laughs> Not the worst I've ever rolled. Okay. Uh, 20 oh, plus? Uh, 27. Uh, 23. Wow. 27 for Alliance. 23 for Neswin? Yep. 
15, and then Duke gets something. Oh, 30, 20 30, for 20. Uh, Ludwig. Nice, Ludwig. Okay. Uh, 15 and 20? 15. 15. What did you roll, Bell? 7. 7. You wanted a bat? You ain't getting one. 7, 4, No, no, no. I'll one. just let you guys do the dirty work for me. Uh, and Elias, then you're, still, uh, you're still in trance, but uh, you are currently being attacked by a swarm of bats. I am going to use my action to continue to stare through a Harrian's eyes. Nobody's had a chance to let me know yet. I haven't yeah. been hit correct. yet. I have no way of knowing. Correct, correct, correct. So, that's my turn. Okay. <laughs> I, I did specify earlier, I don't know if you heard me, I did cast Mage Armor before we got here. Okay, I did not hear that, but good. That's okay, I... Um, Alright, next one. I'll just have my longbow out. I'm just going to fire at the... A at, longbow? At... Yeah. Alrighty. They're not very far away yet. I mean, it doesn't all, matter. They're, 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 up, they're, they're flying like in between the stalactites. And and slowly all I will together. use my sharpshooter feet as well. Ooh, Fuck it. Okay. Take a minus five penalty to do plus ten damage, baby. Hell yeah, go for it. it. Uh, that's a fourteen to hit. Um, that hits. Yeah. Cool. Hey. Man, I dropped my pen on my mouse and it actually clicked something. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Is this the third swarm we're fighting? Uh. Maybe. Yeah, two snakes. Uh, for 18 points. I really like swarms. What was that? Sorry, Koba? 18, one eight points of damage. 18 points of damage? Fuck me. Yeah, oh, yeah I did. Boy. I might have five. I get, I mean, I get, I get, I get, I get, yeah, I get plus you 10. You shoot an arrow, and that one just... arrow just impales four of the cunts. And upon that happening, all the other bats immediately start flying through the, the the entrance that you took into their room, and they just they fuck off. They're just like, yeah, never mind. Fucking crazy. So they like circle around you guys a little bit, and then they just they just proceed to fuck off after you you take a few of them out. One, one Did I not arrow. get the chance to catch one? I mean, there's four skewers in a fucking arrow. He's got a bat kebab. Yeah, he's got a bat kebab. I mean, if you want to catch an alive one, make a make a dexterity check. Oh. Okay. Like as they're flying past right you. Right here, Ludwig's cry of fuck's sake. Fourteen. Yes. I mean, if you if you have if you're present at all, you would hear the bats and everything. Nope. Well, then you, you don't. You'd feel, you'd feel them fly past you. Would, would my ferret hear everything, or any no. of this? No, you're pretty far away. Like it's pretty pretty deep. Uh, and it's not like I'm yelling. Um, okay. So yeah, no, I still have no idea. Uh, Ferris, uh, Surely must feel the wind these change. Bats, especially now they're in a state of panic. Like they're, they're just they're just too quick for you to properly grab, and they they you don't manage to catch one alive, unfortunately. I will okay, I will go fine. to where my arrow is. Mm -hmm. I will try and find the arrow that just has fucking four bats skewered onto it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just be like, I mean, I got some bats. Yeah. Is this a like a lollipop for Rav? I'm. I'm gonna take the bats and I'm gonna hit them with firebolts so they're, they're cooked and then I'm just gonna munch on them. You know what it makes me think of? No, my that, arrow bit in, that bit in Shrek when he like gets the Ewok. spider webs. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, other than that, in the floor being very sticky and, 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 and gross, uh, like this cavern is not here. cleared out. I will look at That's really toxic. Did there you is, uh, there, is a, there is an exit. There is a, a path that leads oh. south out of this room. Oh. Out of this not the way we came in. Okay. Not the way you came in. No, no, when no. Rav comes back, I'm like, Rav, did you look onto the water underneath the frogs? Yeah, well, you did. Huh? It was too dark. Oh, uh, wait, wait here. I uh, let me have a little see. I mean, it's too dark. Uh, she can't. There's no night vision. What? What for? That might be like a path or. Under oh, the yeah. frogs. Under or like, you know, best place to hide something. Okay, oh, well, well I won't go then. I won't go then. Yeah, let's go rummaging around under the giant deadly frogs. Just <laughs> for fucking sake of it. Excellent, excellent guard dogs. On. Frogs. Guard frogs. You know. Guard frogs. Right. I could talk to them and say I don't mean them any harm. I don't I understand don't them. I think they have the capacity can... to even know what you mean. <clears throat> they, they, as long as they no offense, Rav. Let's go. And I'll head towards the south tunnel with my lantern. Just all right. And as you Going proceed ahead. out of this this tunnel, you end up. Oh, we just drag Elias with up. us. So I will. I will tap. With... I'll, I'll take. I'll tap Elias. I fucked on the shelf. Like. Elias! What? 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 We're what? Going, we're... Shh, shut the fuck up, Elias. <laughs> 
We're going now. We're, there's another cave. We beat the. There's some bats, and we're going. That was so aggressive. I thought we were about to die. Well, I, we were being well, attacked. We, uh, it's fine. We made the. Bats I wasn't the. It wasn't an aggressive tap. It was literally like a loads of little taps, being like Elias. Eli you know when you're trying to wake someone up like nicely, but you're just doing that little taps like, hello. Yeah, but then they just wake that. up anyway, and they're like, <laughs> you know, like Imagine whoa. Imagine waking people up nicely. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get no sleep. I mean, y'all. So there were bats in here? Guys, I'm here. I'm gonna scoop up some of the bat guano and put it in my sure. component pouch. Fuck it. Let's see. Okay. Um, you enter now this tunnel that leads you southward, and as you exit it again, you see ten empty bedrolls are arranged in a circle around a cold fire pit at the center of this cavern. Chicken bones, empty wine, and spirit bottles, and other food waste litters the floor. Expecting like, this lady to be hostile. Probably. Um, probably, but I, I we're know. hoping we can be nice. Are we going to kill her anyway because of fear? No. Well, no, we need religion. information. She's gonna die. We need information. Are we going to fight her? her or? If, hopefully no. not, but it'll probably come to that. Because you know what we're like, and we know what other people are like. Do I mean, we... What we're like. Just don't pull we the trigger purely. We are in like a, a bandit cave, and I don't think we yeah. really have any passwords basically, or anything like that. But... Basically, just don't pull the trigger too early. Like, give it a second or two. Right. I mean, we ideally we can help. Yeah. Before. That's that's what we're here to do is to help and, and then deal with anything malfarious afterwards. Given the artifacts that they've been passing around, we might and, have a fat coin and, purse at the end of it. But. And and you said that. Something about like Tiamat being bad. I mean, I think she's, I read that they were bad. She's she's the dragon know. goddess of greed, and it's the oh. do whatever the oh. fuck you want to, to to get your stuff. Doesn't matter who you destroy in the process. She's not very nice. All right, well, it sound inherently evil. I would no, like I never thought it was mild, a religious person until like, now. It's <laughs> it's not just greed. Like oh, I want shinies. It's greed. Like I want everything you've ever cared about and everything in the world. I oh. just all-consuming greed. You know, it's bad. Shiny's count, though. Y yeah. It's different. Elias just gives Lud with it a look, like... <laughs> and, and I mean, she is also genuinely, like, known as evil. And, like, she... Everyone who's ever worshipped her has... In our, in our past at the Double World, has turned out pretty evil. And, like, rival to Bahamut, who's a good god. People like him. I don't like her. <clears throat> no, I don't know. So what do you do as, as you're, uh, you like know, money. looking at these Sounds 10 empty bedrolls? There is another exit that leads uh, northeast. Yeah, I was just going to ask. Is there... Nah. Uh, let's, let's not go rummaging before we know for sure uh, yeah, we can how, do that what our there. standing is. Right. Let's, let's just move on. Okay. Uh, is, is it still like northeast? Sorry. Pretty. Is this is southeast. I mean northeast. Oh. It's still. Is uh, it still northeast. pretty dark? Like. I mean, yeah, uh, like, yeah, apart from our land, cold. I'm no shining cold. a lantern around. I mean, I, mean, I said apart from our land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. obviously, I can see. I probably can see like a little bit further out from the lantern's view. The lantern's like light. Because it's like a dim light or some shit. I think it's, lantern's like twenty foot bright, twenty foot dim. I think. Yeah, you can see I an can extra see. twenty foot. Twenty basket. feet, but yeah, so I'll like oh, thirty foot ahead. radius, and then oh. so sixty foot dim light. Oh, so okay, never mind. Then my dark vision will be pointless. And of course, I go like ten foot ahead. I can just see ten. Well, foot the dim light looks like bright light, I guess. While you, we're walking, so. yeah, true. Because they've got me started, I'm just kind of giving like a mini Don't whispering, so mini right. lecture on the history of Tiamat. I'm like, oh, no. but also she served, she served the gods Bane and Asmodeus, who are also pretty terrible gods, and like did a lot of really bad things. And, and I'm just like going on a full historical lecture. Two hundred and three thirty or. I mean, you, like uh, Bane's the god of listen, terror and listen hate. Listen to to uh, Faerys kind of going on this this religious ramble. <laughs> I'm I'm you being like, genuinely interested. Another Is pool. It? That covers the complete mm. ground of the tunnel up ahead. And you can hear coming from the pool these like bubbles. Um, and as you get closer, uh, due to the light uh -oh. that you're shining, from this pool emerges an even larger uh, frog like creature than that you've seen. Rav, tell, tell him a friend. Tell him a friend. I will I'll start to try and convey, like, hey, friendly. 
frog he met. Make it's friendly. It's friendly. Check. Oh boy. I'm gonna Convey say... the word friendly. What he means is he cowers his fear. In frog language. That's in cool. wrong. I mean, what's Does he the get language advantage that you speak? because Ferus? Yeah. It's, huh? I mean, it's called. It's called Grung. Okay, then it's not the same language as this giant frog. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I will also speak... try and speak primordial as the well. The northern like, Grung like... dialect or some exactly, shit. Exactly, exactly. What is your roll for your oh, animal right. handling, uh, Nesman? Yorkshire Grung. Uh, that was a 13. 13? Not terrible. No frogs in this part of frozen north. I mean, I don't know. Did it speak in primordial? <laughs> No, it's speaking. It's speaking. Well, it's speaking. Frog. Toad, actually. This this seems oh, to not well, be. I, this seems oh to no! Frog speak they're frog. mortal toad enemies. Toad. This is not. They're this seems to not be a frog. Enemies. This seems to be more of a toad-like creature, looking mm. bigger and older than the frogs that you've seen through your ferret's yeah. eyes, Elias. This seems to Basically, be. Basically, quick, quick, a different feed creature it a altogether. Feed it a bat. Maybe it'll. I, oh, I, 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 look at Rev, who's Rav eating. Rav. Can we have one of your bats? Fine. The last <laughs> I will. I will grab. I'll grab. Like, I will say, give it to me. Like, and maybe. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can't. You... I can't understand it, but I can convey ideas to it. I'm yeah. just there, like, we mean Yum no harm. Food. We've got, we've got food. We mean no harm. Please, no. Make another. Very basic, just like, with advantage this time. <laughs> We're about to watch him lose his hand to a toad. That'd be oh, uh, Twenty-two. Oh, this. <laughs> And this just, like, large tongue just <laughs> takes the bats, like, out of your hand. And this, this, uh, toad, old croaker, oh, kind of okay. gets closer to you, lowers his head, and almost oh. seems to be waiting for you to get on his back. Oh my god, all of us? Oh. Is he that big? He's, oh, he's fucking oh, massive, so yeah, he's fucking massive. Okay. I'll, 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 I'll kind of look and be like, give it, like, a little, like, shrug, like, do you want us to get on? And then, yeah. like, and then I'd be like, I think he wants us to get on to its back. Okay, Absolutely. this is cool. And I'll, I'll like, just ride these babies for miles as I hop see, up onto the back. You of the see, front. like, Nesman's face properly, like, so he's like, yeah, okay, let's let's do it. Like, almost shouts a bit too loudly. Like, whoa, okay. It, yeah, it's funny because it literally says here friend. a character who succeeds in a DC 15 animal handling check can convince old Croker to not attack the party and convince him to ferry the characters across the pool. Hell yeah! <laughs> there you go. I just keep my lantern kind of shining ahead as we all. Okay. Have well, to its okay back. then. All right. I wanna, I wanna swim. Sure. You'll swim you next to me yeah. if I can, like, yeah. Uh, I mean, he's an old, he's an older, uh, you know, toad. He's not oh, the fastest God. anymore. Does Rav look like Pon Ponyo in? <clears throat> I don't know. In the in the middle well, Ponyo as, stage. As, as she's swimming. Well, yeah, you know, like <clears throat> when Ponyo is kind of between fish and girl, she looks just like yeah, a yeah. weird. <laughs> All right. Once you get across uh, the pond, and uh, Old Croaker let leave lets you all uh, hop off his back, you enter a room as you do. Mm -hmm. This room has a warm rush of heat coming from a massive fire burning in the center of the cavern. Smoke venting up through a narrow stone chimney, the flames illuminate a rough painting of a five-headed dragon that dominates the north wall. A bedroll that's, is that's spread. Her. That's her. I whisper as I say, like that's that's her. A bedroll is, is spread out lovely, beneath the mural. The Near the crackling blaze, a dwarf bundled in a heavy cloak sits on a stone chest beside an elf, whose face is covered in dragon tattoos. The dwarf's face is streaked with pulsing blue veins. I'm, uh, as we walk in. Tema. I'm just gonna call out like, uh... Mm -hmm. Praise Tiamat! Too little, is that you? You look like shit! Uh, as you yell that, um, both of these individuals kind of open their eyes. They're seemingly in some kind of uh, meditative state that you uh, woke them up from. Mm. Bolil looks at you. Praise her indeed. I normally. Ogi. Oh, oh. Okay, bye, Ethan. Bye, Ethan. <laughs> what the fuck? Hi, Ethan. Hi, Ethan. <laughs> Hello, Ethan. Hi. Welcome back. I didn't like you. Normally, I'd <laughs> kill any intruders who enter 
this cave, but obviously I'm not really in a position to do that. And uh, beside, oh, beside, uh, to help. beside who Lil sits, uh, the elf, who now also uh, pipes up. Um, if you want me to, I'll kill him myself. You don't have to lift a finger, and and Hulil kind of simmers him down. Sure. Why did you Why did you come to me, Cave? What is your What is your business here? Your we sister sent us. We came from Togi. All right. I also want to try and pocket my symbol of Saren Ray under my tunic before anyone notices, since okay. we're apparently now <laughs> pretending he to look is him up. not doing well. And it seems neither is the antique dealer. We're trying to stop yourself and Togi falling to the same fate. But um, we need all the clues we can get. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> 24. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. Given this um, peculiar position that I'm in, come, have a seat by the fire. Let's talk. Got to amble in. Take a little sit down. Yeah. Let's sit down. I believe this disease is called the Frigid Woe. Don't know anything more about the disease than the symptoms, but I've heard rumors that explorers in Isocross sometimes succumb to it. I, if it's my guess, I'd say it's one of the blue vials that Tolgi stole. Ten gold! That uh, is doing oh. this to us. It's one just of the vials guess. was cracked, um, <laughs> and it revealed that its lovely blue color was the result of a dark blue dust clinging to the interior. I need to get the Shady Creek run before the malady runs its course. Why Why there? See if I can trade the goods that me and my sister procured for a cure. But why would they have a cure if this is a disease local to more frigid Oh, We'll have a areas. lot better chances there than in this town out in the frozen wasteland that is the Isle Cross. I suppose that's a fair assumption, but I mean, probably. I think you'll make nothing. it there. How? Wait, how far is it from here to Shady Creek Run? It's a. It's pretty far, if I'm not mistaken. It's far. Pretty, pretty dang like far. Like half the continent, right? Yeah. It's, like, <laughs> it's, it's pretty dang far. Five seconds. Other than resorting to trying to travel all the way there for a cure, do you know of anyone else who's figured out how to cure it? I don't know, but. Um... I did kind of... Uh, to my best interest to help you out with any information I have, since you're trying to find a cure and I move about five feet at a time now, so by the time that I get back to town, I don't know what day will have passed, probably. Probably have to cart you there. <sighs> Most likely, but... Um, I needed some quick money, and I did sell the other vial, the non-cracked one, to uh, Irvin Leal, a, a human merchant staying at the Jolly Dwarf Inn back in the village. So, there is that. The other vial with this oh. dust in it is uh, no longer in my possession and is back in the village. Where's the broken one? Uh, she kind of taps her foot on the stone chest that she's sitting on in here. What else is in there? Everything. Do you mind if we could... Now, was it when you touched the dust that you started getting afflicted or when you were just We're not opening it? the chest. Uh, Nesrin, we're not opening the chest. <laughs> well, it's staying it's... there. It's staying closed. <laughs> uh, you're muted, Ethan. Sure he is. I know. Don't worry. Not talking to us, we're not cool enough. Oh, I thought you were. We're not yeah. touching I, the chest. I would want to that. see if we. I suppose. 
We go, we, right, we go back to the village, we find this trader, I already forgot his name. Just trade his name again. Oh, sorry. Um, Irvin Leal. Irvin Leal. Irvin Leal. It's Irvin now. It's Irvin now. Um, <laughs> right, so we go find the trader. Okay. Oh, fuck. If he still has it, we try and figure out what's in it. If we can get a cure. The Jolly Dwarf uh, is do you, do you, where, I, where I last saw him. Do you know of any medicine men or wise women or witches or anything that might be able to help? Not in the slightest. Well, how far long does it look like she's? She's about like, uh, yeah, so about, about the same as uh, as as, yeah, as Tolby. Okay. Like the thick blue veins, okay. the the like frosty yeah. hair on the on her arms and. Pale how did the? How did the antique stealer get it? Ah, uh, no, it was cracked. Dealer. It was. And, it was. No, I'm. I'm just. I was not the vial. I just mean the affliction. But the antique dealer got it before they did, right? The antique dealer got it from Argon. Ur mm -hmm. Yeah. And then they stole it from the antique dealer. So. Hey. Okay. Right. It's about. I mean, you said you're moving very slowly because of this, correct? Mm -hmm. How do you intend to get to Shader and Creek? That's about 400 miles. Teleport. I have my uh, associates here we can, who can arrange transportation. I'm gonna bring this chest with me and just see if that can buy me a cure. And this man's arranging transportation out of the goodness of his heart. And oh, just he's look my at second the... in command. Come on now. Do you think you could manage the um... two weeks of travel? Well, it's better to try. Well, we to find out. Five, right? If I'm gonna die, I'd rather at least try to find a cure my way. Seeing as I, I haven't heard back from my men that I sent down to the antique shop or any any potential cures, so. Uh, yeah, I don't think you'll be hearing from them anytime soon, unfortunately. Thank you as much. Ah, uh, yeah, right. Arvin, Leo, that's our only lead then. Well, that's our only lead to uh, <clears throat> one that's still intact, but we, we. It's a spore from what it sounds like, right? Or a it's dust? A, it's a dust. I have the broken vial still here, the one vial that has the dust ah, that isn't broken. Away. Is in was, the this, possession was it when you room. touched it, or was it when you like breathed it in that you started getting this? I'm not sure. Or did it happen slowly? I don't know. You said the vial okay. isn't. The vial is still sealed. Oh, it's no, cracked. it's cracked. That's a point. The one that Arvin has is, is sealed. Yeah, the it's other. Cracked. Okay. The other one is sealed. The one that wants to investigate it. How do can we safely get out of this cave? There's fucking toads, frogs, whatever. I'll. I'll send my 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 associate here to escort you back to the cave Aye. mouth. Should be fine. All right. We'll try. Well, I... just hang on in I, there. If you're planning on heading to Shady Creek Run, the bit sooner the better for you. But I don't know what we can find from Irvin, if anything. Don't know, but I I think this is where um. Probably not see each other again, but uh, good luck and. Um, Either way, we need luck. to we need to tell we the people go. of Pale Bank anything, what to avoid. We need to make sure anything, this vial gets disposed of. We find a cure somehow. Just make sure my sister gets it, right? Of course, we'll, we'll try. do our best. We can say to you, I, I don't suppose. Know how far along she is when it comes to this affliction, but about the I'd same as you. Yeah, I was gonna say because we both, both kind of about the touched same. this. This we're, we're in contact with this substance about the same time so i'd imagine we'd both be equally along this 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 affliction did hello tell us what she'd done with the broken vial it's in the chest it's in the chest it's, it's in, the, in chest. the chest she's sitting on yeah. with all of the other loot for god's sake mm -hmm. that's all infected <laughs> oh yeah you probably shouldn't you probably shouldn't sell that loot then you infect the entire other city well, no, with the with the money from the other vial, right, is what you're going to try to get the cure. Right, just between you and me, I didn't put the actual dust with the other treasure. It is just 
I managed to trap the lock of this chest with it. So that if anyone oh. that wasn't supposed to touch the chest touches well, it, uh... it'll, it'll, you know. Well, that's okay, I guess, but What still... did you do with the broken vial? Eh, I've... I've got rid of it somewhere, I don't remember. <laughs> just it's ever just like oh my god <laughs> she like ah, she like so... threw it in a fire and all of the dust like got carried on the ash and it's like nuclear <laughs> fallout and everyone yeah. is just dying <laughs> yeah um like right. subcontinent okay <laughs> hear me out on this no. okay no no <laughs> enchanted items aren't normally damaged by normal fire but yeah. you're, you're, you're marking up the wrong tree if you're talking about the broken vial because I think that response means the no, DM doesn't know where she, it is and it's gone. She's very much <laughs> just admitted that this chest is trapped with yeah. The as you, like, right. as you look vial. at the chest, you can see also that like the lock mechanism is like this stone carved dragon mouth, like dragon oh. face. Oh, oh, stone carved, you say? Stone. Yeah. <laughs> can I Hear tell the Please origin of this stone? <laughs> Would that be like a history check kind of vibe for your uh... with advantage? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Fuck it. Uh, it hold on, it's, it's a history based. check. I know I'm considered proficient and add double my proficiency points wow. to the check. Plus Ooh. four. Plus your intelligence. Oh, that's a ten. Um, you know that um, this sort of design the, uh... chest is very popular among followers of Tiamat. It's just kind of like a, a, a religious uh, design to their stone chests. Is it all like blue and glittery because of the... No, it's just sleek grey stone chest. So it doesn't Hear me out. look like it's trapped with the blue powder. No. Does it... We burn nah. the chest. Therefore we know there's not any loose powder floating about. Oh, no, we don't know if the powder gets like better or worse, you know, in we fire. It could make it powder, ten times more worse. We need to go find Irvin Lil. Yeah, we need to get this other one out of the market before it goes into the hands of someone who puts in the water supply or something. I sort of don't want to leave this in a chest that anyone could open. It's not what? actually there. It's it's not there, Elias. There's no powder in the there. chest. There's no. powder in the... We just mechanism. learned that the fucking broken vial's not in the fucking chest. Yes, but she also just admitted that she trapped the lock with the powder. powder. She said powder right. to trap the chest mm -hmm. with, yes. What? How much? It doesn't Every, matter. Someone every, could open it and get works. infected. You or I... I'll just explain to you how my chest works, all right? You touch the chest, mm. oh my the goodness. dragon's nose will... Blow a gust of wind. I filled the nose with the powder. Gust of wind. Powder flies out. You're fucked. Every other Don't weekend, I fill my it. nose with the powder. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, oh. <laughs> oh. Unless it's me <clears throat> or Regrin that open the chest. Other than that, anyone else gets whatever this frigid wool disease is. I really want to study this powder, but. I yeah, right. Well, so let's go eat into the vial. With the powder okay. that's safely contained, where yeah. no one's going to die. Irvin There's not much Leo, we can do here. At the There's Jolly not... Dwarf Inn. There's not much in we can do here. <laughs> this came from. We have to just accept this loss and just hope they stay here for a little bit longer until we can get it, uh, and then we can go. I mean, who knows how much of this powder is out there in the world? I, uh... Well, I, I think it's quite a rarity. Like this before, DM. Huh? I'm just all no, all I not. all I have to see is that's a shit way to protect your chest because they go they go open it, have a way of your shit, and then die in like two months anyway. So, so no, what the fuck's the point? So nobody in my like no group would have ever found anything like this no. in AO. All you know is the same thing that Hulil knows is that you've heard tales of like adventurers in Isocross contracting this like frigid wool affliction, but it's mm -hmm. very rare and like especially. It's it's always like isolated so, cases. It's never been like a spread as spread as it is now because it, the the, the, clearly, the thing causing it, it has never reached like a civilization before. Yeah, probably because it's, it's this so powder probably uses. comes from a very rare, very uncommon. Maybe it's like mineral dust from a gem somewhere up north, or maybe it's like from a creature. But it's clearly from somewhere that's local and it's like doesn't magic get around dude, a lot. Much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, this has so many uses, but very yeah, except people aren't roofing their fucking homes with it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how do you know? Aeorians were clearly. <laughs> yeah, no city fucking crashed. What happened? What happened to the great sweet. Aeorian civilization? <laughs> oh, they were just roofing their homes with asbestos, so they all died. died. 
Yeah. <laughs> right, so, the greatest uh, of mages. Great Grin and kind of gets up, mass. Um, and escorts you out of the cave. Um, mm. And then you're on your way back to town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to find yeah, out. At this point, it is, getting, like, it, is getting, it is getting late. Um, we'll, go to that, we'll go to that inn to like find a place to yeah. rest. Okay. He's so, at an inn anyway, so it's perfect. Yeah. Right, right, right. We head to um, the Jolly Dwarf. The Jolly Dwarf That's is a fun. cozy two-story inn oh. uh, ran by uh, uh, some kind of retired adventurer uh, named Arl Bortok. Fuck. Uh, the downstairs really of this inn features a large Brunt tap dwarf. room and a gray-haired dwarf behind the bar greets you cheerfully as you enter. Two male humans and two tiefling children laugh among themselves as they enjoy a meal together. Um, and um, Arl, uh, a, 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 a male... Uh, dwarf, mountain dwarf, stands behind the bar and, and and greets you as you enter. Good evening. It's a little late for uh, for 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 food, but if you're here for a few drinks or uh, some bed rests, I have rooms available. Evening. Hello. You are very nice to meet you. Drinks. Well, we are the happy dwarf in, you know. Jolly dwarf in. Jo sorry. Jolly dwarf. Bed rest, drinks, and a human right. trader by the name of Irvin Leal. Irvin Leal, that does that does ring a bell. Um, I think those um, tiefling kids are his. I don't know where he is though. Just how? Where's your da? <laughs> um, terrifying. I uh. I'll go ask him real quick, and he goes to kneel down by the, by, by, the, by the kids, <laughs> and uh, you see, you the, see, the dwarf bartender just goes, "Where's your dad?" You see him uh, like like talking talking to the kids, and he comes back. Um, their dads are upstairs. Uh, they'll go fetch him for you. All right. And coming down the stairs comes uh, come two male humans. Uh, looking. Pretty, you know, wearing common clothes, um, and they are joined by their uh, adopted daughters uh, in the mm -hmm. Tiefling kids, and and they kind of sit at a table and no like notion for you to come over. Um, hey, <clears throat> uh, Irvin sits you down, and uh, I'm told that uh, you're looking for me. What can I do for you? Yeah, um, you kind of. Recently, you you bought something from a, a friend of ours. It's like a blue sort of right. Um, right, powder. Right, right. Yes. Um, it's very. It's um. What have you done with it? It's very very dangerous, and we kind of need to have well, a look. Um, it's... Me and my husband, we uh, we met this 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 individual on on the road to Pillbank Village, and she said she was moving, needed to shed some possessions. Um, she told me. I have a great uh, Aeorian relic at a great price, and I bought wow. it, and I plan to sell the item for a profit in Uthodurn. Well, you have, I guess, a great relic. You also have, I don't know if you've heard the stories of the people freezing here. Yes, I have. It's quite tragic. I've, it's uh, I, caused by that powder. My, my kids. They're... Oh, I think, sorry, I think um, that powder might be the... Um, Root cause. You see both yeah, Irvin everyone... and his husbands, like eyes widen. Yeah, everyone who's coming into contact just with the a second blue vial. Powder from their nose. Every, <laughs> yeah. Everybody, every everybody, everybody. But all four of us have okay. touched the vial. Are we, no, are we going to the vial? It's okay, the vial's sealed. Fine, it's okay as long fine. as it's, it's sealed. sealed. You've not touched the powder, right? You've just touched the vial. No, we, we haven't opened it, no. Okay, but, you're fine. You're fine. Keep it that way. Okay. Keep it that way. Yeah, where I, I, where um, where is it? It's it's here, and he like takes it out. It's it's wrapped in cloth from his inside pocket, and he puts gently puts it on the table, and kind of like, yeah. Elias, can you have a look at it and see if you can glean any magical more than what we already did, or yeah? identify it? I identify it, but I don't know identify as a spell and what that is. So I just say look at it, but I mean identify it. I mean, do we reckon? I'm gonna look sort of away from the family. Mm -hmm. I reckon touching the files okay, or are these guys gonna? 
I would assume so. I need to try to the child. They mentioned fine. the other one was cracked, and that seems yeah, very it seems fine. I would like to inspect the vial to ensure the seal is sealed before to I touch, touch it? it. Not until I can make sure it's sealed. Okay. Uh, like you look just at like the peeling off the cloth and, and it is completely sealed. I will cast identify. Just in case I'll cast Does that resistance you touching again. It? Yes, and identifying something requires touching it. And okay. I cast resistance on you before you I touch it. I don't like, like to you. make a constitution saving throw. I knew that oh was where this was going. Uh, However, no. I asked the group, and they were like, yeah, and Elias is like, yeah. Oh, uh, Constitution? Oh, no. Mm. I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna chrono shift that, because that was a natural... And you, you have you have a d4. No, that's gone, yeah, does, right? I'm, I'm oh, still not gonna now. risk it. Yeah, no, I can still use Oh, no, oh you resist it. Sorry, I'm stupid. Yeah. Uh, so the d4s are two, uh, so that's a five plus whatever I've rolled, so it would have been a 13. Oh. Instead, it is a... 22. Okay. You do not contract Frigid Well. Good job. Oh, would my a, God. Would a 13 have led me to contract Frigid Well? No. Oh, so I wasted my fucking... Okay. Um, you identify yeah. it, and uh, you... This is called a vial of Frigid Well, is the official name yeah. of this, this artifact. And you learn that uh, you can throw this vial up to 20 feet, shattering it on impact, releasing contents as a cloud of spores. Each creature that is in that cloud of spores will... Uh, Die within six to nice eight weeks. Nice slow will, death, will, yeah. will, will have, a, have the... Will potentially contract Frigid Woe as a result. Um, yeah. It's definitely Question. like a weaponized disease kind of, kind of vibe. Biological we've got warfare. a bioweapon, is what we've got. We've got a dirty bomb. Okay, um, <laughs> I have a poisonous right. kit. Would it be sensible Me to too. assume that in a poisonous kit, I have the items necessary to, like, rats, Safely something like it. this? Yeah, like, would I have, like, some sort of, like, Maybe What you've learned is that uh, you're safe as long as you do not directly touch the vial. So if it's wrapped in okay. something, that so, is fine. So... I have a poisonous kit. Do I have like some gloves or something I could wrap it in? Like uh, yeah. Plus, I mean, they gave it to out. you while it was wrapped in a cloth. Like, yeah. So it was, uh, wait, you, wait, you wait, wait, wait. real quick it. though. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I would I need to touch it to wrap it back up. No, we'll say that you can like kind of like pick it up okay. with the rag. I, I kind of could like... just cast Unseen Servant and make them do it. For that. But I don't know if that's dooming like a face. So as uh, that, but... the two the two men and their their adopted tiefling kids like all kind of look at you. So um, are we, are we sick? You are you are perfectly safe. We think. We're like <laughs> nice. Stick sure. your tongues out. Everyone, stick your tongues out. The kids immediately. If you. Ah. It, if you'd like, I can do a medicine any... check on your... Does it, look like, does it look like any of them have any sort of blue on them at all? Oh, yeah, I'm not even looking. I'm just telling them they'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> You'll be fine. They, they, they look fine. Then again, Maybe you don't you know how long cold? it takes for this disease to... Do any of you feel cold at all in any way, other than, like, well, we're where in, we are? We're in a frozen well, other than that... Land, but... No, if you're like fine. Your bones? Are we good to travel? Because we were about to. We were going to continue on. It should be on. fine. But should we? Uh, you have to self-isolate for at least two weeks. Hey. Yeah. Oh, you've got to use the spell NHS Track and Trace <laughs> to know when you can stop self-isolating. I mean. Well, my uh, my my. Uh, I should. I don't. You'll be fine. I don't. Will we though? It took here. Well, how apparently, about... it took it took months before uh, or weeks before. Um... We've not told. We've told them you have to be in direct contact with the thing. We've not. We've not Can made I... that touching just the vial is enough. We have said I'm... to them like the no, dust no, no. is fine. Like what? Well, that's right. not what he's saying. Yeah, no. I know, but I'm just like. Can well, I... we, we Here's the thing. To okay. Like what you obviously, mean, obviously out out of character. Yeah. Elias had to make a fucking con check just yeah, to touch so the vial. Yeah, so we know it's a like, lie. They, they could all I mean, have... We don't know he's made a con check. I know that. Yeah, I mean, I know yeah we that. don't know. You don't know. Yeah. I've then turned around yeah. and got them to stick out their tongues and gone, yeah, you'll be fine. Just, yeah. I'm going to just in case make them like... feel better on the kids. I'm be like, here, I'll I'll make extra sure just in case. And I'm going to touch both on the heads one at a time and cast Lesser Restoration. And it can end. I know obviously this probably wouldn't work because I'm sure clerics would have tried this before. But... Mm -hmm. 
it'll make them feel better and it'll end one disease afflicting them. So if they don't have frigid woe or if it doesn't work on that, maybe they have a cold that's now gone or they just feel better. Both the kids they feel magic uh, wash over them. like um, look, look up at you and as you kind of like touch them and they both go, thank you. You should be all good to go. That's disease ending magic. Yeah, what about the dads? I mean, what? I can do it. I can do it. One Man more had time. it in his fucking jacket pocket for. Which God one of you so loves the other okay, more to give up it. the chance of being cured of a disease? I mean, no, we can do it tomorrow as well, right? Yeah, I can do one more right now, and then tomorrow morning I can see one of you before we head on whatever our okay. day. But I mean, I don't. I, mean, what's so here? I identified the vial. They've not got any symptoms, any blue spots under their tongue. They're absolutely fine. Right. You can't hurt. I'm lying out of my teeth. Soon, oh, yeah. I, we're going to bed soon. I don't think I have much use left of my magical reserves for today. I have a passive insight mind. of 17, so... Oh yeah, you I know we're 19, all lying. Baby! Alright. So you uh, you decide to spend the night at the tavern, right? And then um, just see what happens tomorrow? Yeah. I wait until we get upstairs and I'm like, it's totally if you touch the vial. That's why I didn't touch it when I wrapped it back up. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. They might be completely fucked. I mean, the crack one's ah. definitely worse, right? I mean, without yeah. a doubt. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's the difference between, like, licking a fire what's and the, jumping into a volcano. Was the was the, was the vial cold to touch? Or... Was like, the vial cold probably. to the touch? No, not really. Hey. Oh. No, okay. it just felt like glass. Curious. Okay. Oh. I'm sure they will be fine. I mean, you know, you're fine, right? Well, we'll find out in a few weeks, but... I, would I, I, in character, know that I had to make a visible, like a physical attempt to resist something? it? No, yeah. I would say that you definitely felt a little, little uneasy, a little. It, it felt a little weird. Just touching this, mm. this object made you feel a little queasy. But touching you it to brush it was, off. Touching it was enough for it to, at least, attempt to latch onto me. Well, so they might all it? be dead in two months, but there's, if we don't have a cure for it yet, if we find what a cure, we can always do? come back. If we don't have a cure for it, let's let them at least have a couple of weeks of not. I don't. Is I the don't plan to take it, it, is the plan to take this vial to Shady Creek Run to see if someone can like alchemize a cure? It's, a long it's about a two weeks cool. travel to Shady Creek Run. By the well, time we, we get there do? and come back, they'll all what be dead. What do I know about what do I know about Shady Creek Run as a place? Is it pretty like it's pretty shady? shady. It's bad time. No, like, yeah. I mean, it's cool. Fucking Shady Creek Run. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's I mean, I'm creek. Out of character, but like, would I know like, hey, there's probably someone who knows what the fuck doing, or is it pretty like everyone here is just hidden for coin and pretty like? Uh, you know that uh, the Shady Creek Run is in the Graying Wildlands. Yeah. You know that uh, it is outside the Empire. There is no watch, very few regulations. Uh, it is a crook's dreamland. Right. Like, right. It's not exactly the type which gives you, you very little hope there's anyone artist. in there that might be able to help with it. <laughs> it'd be, it'd okay. be looking for a, a needle in a haystack, which, uh, it, you know, you, I've, I've found a good needle in a haystack before, but, like, it's difficult and it hurt. I still, um... Hear me out on this. There's no cure for it, as far as we're aware. I mean, we f we don't we touch take... it. I I wouldn't want to leave this anywhere in case someone else comes across it. No, we it. destroy it. I don't know Ooh. if we can destroy it. So until we figure that out, maybe we should hold air. on to it and keep it safe. Or we put it in a box and put it in the middle of the fucking ocean and the before the bottom. Well, then we also would all the fish. rather like to keep this in case we need it. However. Need it for a what? Oh, for the cure, right? I meant okay. more for killing someone, but the cure, yes. Also. I, I I don't understand the use. I, you throw it at someone and then you wait two months. Uh, well, maybe to them they might panic and think, "Oh, this great poison's been used to me," and they like freak out because they're stupid. How the fuck would they know I'm what sure it is? They're, uh, well, give me about being, three hours guess, or and some parchment and some ink, place. and I could give you a list of ways that this could be used to kill someone without them ever knowing. However. As far as we're aware, there's no cure. We figured out what it is by taking it out of circulation. We've dealt with the problem. So we, we go back, we get our reward Elrond. money. Yeah, technically yeah. we have done what was needed. We've done exactly we've what was asked of us. Why are we doing pro bono work? I thought, well, I thought we were trying to find a cure, yeah. to be fair, but... 
Because I mean, we're trying to find what the cause. The, the request I mean, was to figure out what is happening to the people in my town. What's happening? That was the yeah. request. Okay. Okay. Right. So, where would where could we go to get a cure? If Faith. we go to Shady Creek mm -hmm. Run, it Shady Creek Run might give us a lead. It'll be a two week tra trip there. Yeah, two week trip. If we find a cure, a wretched hive of scum and villainy, and yeah. as good a time as it might be, I don't think we're going to find. Even if we find a cure there, it's a two week trip back. By the time we come back. Anyone we've met that was already infected is dead. That family, if they have caught it, are dead. We're bringing back a cure to no one. It's a waste. Way to put a, a pointless glum, exercise. We put a glum way on it. They'll either be but fine right. or in two months they'll be dead. There's nothing. All right, we Nish, can do we put about a fun spin on it real Let's quick. Let's go get our money. Well, wait, well there's wait, a chance wait. we could save someone. Wait, it's just Uthodern. unlikely, okay? Uthodurn is closer than Shady Creek Run, and it's a much bigger. Like settlement, there's a well, chance that's that there might be someone there. It, right? but... Yeah, but well, there's also a chance there might be another, like a more trained cleric than myself. Maybe some of the experience alchemist. making antidotes and remedies out of the initial I... contagion. Uthodun is that's more of a crafting and blacksmithing rather than. I mean, they might. That's... We'd have a better chance there than Shady Creek. Like, we might Uthodun find someone who can better. teleport. Because we can go to even bigger city. We can always go to. A very big capital. <laughs> very to big one. Find. I mean, I think no matter what, it's not great, but we've done the main thing. We took out circulation, apart from that chest, but I doubt someone's going to be using that. Why don't we set a short-term goal of going to get our money? Yep. And then we'll figure things out from there, because unless we meet... Unless we have a need for a cure, I don't see what we could do with a cure. All right. That was... Given given that this Irvin Leo was a bit of a dead end, uh, what say tomorrow we go back to the cave and we perhaps try get that chest? Well, just so I no think... one tries to open it, so no one else gets infected. No, because it's full of because fucking it's goodies. Of, it's full. There was it's a spell uh, scroll <laughs> case. There what was a scroll. There could be. There could be spells from pre calamity Aeorian. Oh, Adrages. there could be oh. a ring and a jade Fuck statuette. The... Fuck the ring. There could be spells in there that would allow us to warp the very fabric of time. And they more could so have than I already do. And they could yeah. have a yeah. Or Fuck we could open up this team. chest and all can or all contract this like thing because we fuck it up. That, that sounds, sounds like an idea. to do it. No, we could still. F we don't know how this works. How th this? How far it goes? We could be in that. Very okay, we could all have it right now. Okay, we don't know. Okay, so we have one but, vote for no. We have two but, votes for chess. Fuck it, let's do it anyway. We only have once, right? Elias, Rav, what do you vote? I want that gate statue. I say <laughs> no, but... Rav. Oh, that means I'm a tiebreaker. I, well, I, don't, have, I, I don't have a problem with other people going to I'm, get the chest. Yeah, I'm, I just won't go with them. If I'm we're getting that there. chest, we're going to need to kill everybody in that cave. Uh, I'm, I'm in the same, and I'm not... I'm personally against it, but if as a group we go... I mean, I'm, I'll happily help, but I'm just Favorite. saying, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, not helping. I'm, I'm scared. Okay. How does Sarah and Ray feel about followers of Tiamat? I mean, I was gonna, if we found a cure, just not give it to her, if I'm being honest. So um, oh, that's fucking cold. Fuck you. So why not just end <laughs> her? It's why not just end Would it not be a more merciful thing to go and kill her? The good of your deity, Absolutely. rather we would than be allowing her to die. We would be doing a good deed in your religious Lee. name. I, ending the misery. I really like misery. to not get sick. Euthanasia. I, I can't, I can't, I can't go back to... <laughs> get to Switzerland. My, I can't go back to my temple and prove that I could survive out in the world as a field cleric if I die doing it from a disease. <laughs> okay, I'll make your deal. What? Stay behind, we'll all stay go in together, me. we'll oh, kill them all, and then we will open the chest while everyone else waits outside. And if we don't come out, then you'll know we've frozen to death. Or, no, but also, it takes weeks, you lose. I've got an idea. No, I've got an idea. <laughs> Wait, Bell, Bell, your Wait mic, Bell, your mic's Your mic is on, some, is on some crackly bullshit right now. Could you like maybe like replug I it or something? I have no control of that. Oh, I mean, oh it's getting God, worse. It's getting worse. Bees! Is it like a, it like a battery or something? Or? No, it's not bad. Oh god. You have a swarm just keeper like current. No, please. Please. If I can turn it off and turn it back on again or something. Classic. The classic fix. 
Sounds like right. fucking like Anyways. 70s fucking like fucking walk talk. She explained the trap to us. She explained that a cloud comes out of it, right? Did she specify how big right. the cloud was? No. Oh. She said she it, was, specify. it would it, it would infect whoever I have a semi idea but... actually. Do you have a semi right any. now in the middle no, of this? No, I have a semi idea. No. No, 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 no. You're disgusting. Is that what you call it in in No. No, no, no. Shut up, shut up. I hate you. Uh, I shut up. Let's have no. a thoughtful discussion. <laughs> I, I've got no. a semi idea no. already. No. I have a I've got such a huge I, blue uh, right there. You see uh, you, I it's love weird to see into... it's weird to see a Triton blush, right, and get really flustered <laughs> like red in the face. But like definitely Nesma's just like no, what, what, what I mean is, I can use gust of wind and like push it in like an opposite That's direction. No, stop! <laughs> I, I walk out. I just walk. I just go. I just go. I'm just like, no. Listen. It looks like he's listen. about to cry from laughter. Uh, I don't. You can see, this is like, I hate all of you. No, I hate we, me. <laughs> We uh, the, the 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 trap on the chest only triggers when you try to open it. So we get the chest and we keep it, and then we go to Uther down and we get to the bottom of this. And we've, when we've got the cure, we get into the chest. We've got money. Aorian artifact. I like that order of operation. Ludwig, I will blow your mind right now. She oh, told we us got that she could open. Yeah, you're gonna blow my mind. <laughs> she told us that she could <laughs> open the chest without the trap activating. We get her to open the chest. We tell her we have a cure once she opens no, the chest. No, then no, we kill her. The cracked... No, wait, the cracked vial's not in the chest. No, the cracked wait. vial's empty. It's in the locking the vial's gone. The if she opens in, the chest, the we'll be fine. Dimension. I got so it. So therefore... I got it. We tell hmm. her that we somehow... That we, we're pretty positive that scroll case that's in there, one of the scrolls, is no. the recipe for the cure. So she no, 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 let no. us open it. And I've then she opens it. And then... We take it and say, this is karma. Your god sucks. Oh, wait, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, wait, yeah. uh, is Neswin come back? Hello. Neswin has like, when <laughs> Neswin stormed off, he would just go on just to the other side of the room and have actually stormed out and just walked Spouting. over to this corner. Right. Yeah, just, like, what we, they had any what complimentary Legos. Is, is we, we get a vial and we fill it with just like water, right? And we turn it <gasps> blue and then we go to, uh, forgot her name. Pulil? Pulil. And we tell her it's the cure, right? And we'll say, but for us, you know, we want a reward. So we'll take, like, the Jade statuette, right? She opens the chest. We all just kill her. Chest open. She's dead. Okay, hear me out on this, Ludwig. If that was you, once you drank what you thought was the cure, would you not absolutely attempt to kill us? We take this. No, we won't give her the cure Possibly. until she gives us. We the don't statue. give her it until. Why don't know, we just go with, with Ferris's plan? We say that the cure is in the scroll case. Then she has to. Uh, and then she opens I, the chest. She's and then we kill her. She's definitely read those. I'm not a cool. huge fan of the whole killing she probably thing. Doesn't know I know she's like great, I mean, but like... she's a weird religious like, priest, whatever. She's probably clued in see, on what's in the scrolls. Did you see? We the weren't told there were even scrolls in there. I mean, she, she's a bad person, but like, surely we should give her into the law rather than, you know, just indiscriminately murdering her. You we know, she's still a bad We lose the chest and Again, then we have technically to mercy because she's a dead woman walking. Right. She is we, already we also... on the way out. That is true, actually. She's going to die anyway, so you might as well. And it's going to be slow and painful. Yeah, you're right. Oh okay, sure, let's do God. it. <laughs> Better than I let her die on her terms of combat with adventures <laughs> in, you know, in the world than any small uh, right. so we go... and to the law. No. All those in oh, favor yeah. of using a vial of water to convince we have a cure? I mean, I can well, change yeah, no. it with I can change it to make it look like whatever. Okay. Right, it's just glowy. I know glowy. that I'm going to bring exactly. the favor, so, so, Rav, you're the split decision. Do we tell her it's a vial of water or the scroll case? The scroll case is by far a better idea. Perfect. Why? Doesn't matter. Why? It's been decided. We're not having this. I want to go to sleep. I need spells. What slots. makes I the scroll spells. case so much better? I I don't. What she's read it. What she knows that. Because well, what if she kills? Because she might not try even and kill us. What's in a scroll case, right? Who scroll, says she can read Aorian? Uh, hold on. Let me. All right. Who says she can even read? <laughs> Scrolls are made of of skin <laughs> or what, whatever. And 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 they're ancient. There, there's a good chance that in that scroll case is just dust of the, what used to be a scroll, right? 
Oh, Do you not think that? Uh, fuck it. What if, but we've not been told there were scrolls, just a scroll case. I, we don't know. But it's still intact, which implies there's some level of magical energy. Plus, it was oh. bought for a rather large sum of money I'm by saying, a curiosity shop. We don't shop. even know if there's anything in it. That's fine. Doesn't matter. We need her to open the chest before we kill her. Okay, right. Worst, worst case scenario. No, but if the scroll case is empty, and she knows it's empty, and there's a hidden compartment. No, 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 no. She's looked. Like you know, she's looked. We do what Rav said. Rav said then we she lie know, and say she, we know we there's don't a hidden know. compartment. It's like Schrodinger's scroll case, right? <laughs> Who's Schrodinger? Is this a famous person? Oh, this yes. is some adventure? real. I didn't realize I'm you were so well read on Chronomancy and the theory of the weave. Absolutely I'm actually not, mildly just... impressed. <laughs> Uh, philosophy comes up time to time when you're running a bar for as long as I have. All right. Listen, all I'm saying is we don't know there's anything in the scroll case. She does. If we go in there and say, oh, the cure's in the scroll case and it's empty, then she's just going to blow then it up. Then we tell her she and was too dumb way. to see the hidden compartment that we okay. know exists. Even better idea. Why don't we just go in and say, look, we know where the cure is. We need money to buy it. You're not going to make it to Shady Creek Run anyway. You will die within the next three days or so. Just give us the scroll case and we'll That's get you the cure. That's a good shout. I mean, at some point. It is a two-week trip at a fast pace from here to Shady Creek Run. There's no way she survives that. I mean, that that also works just like straight intimidation. That's not intimidation. That's just... Well, you know what I mean. Like, you cold hard logic could be die. intimidating. I'm not threatening to kill her. I'm just going to tell her that she's dying. Well, she knows she's dying. That's the... She knows... Yeah, I th I mean, no matter what a plan, it'll probably not be great. And you know, end of day, we are just gonna be killing a fucking woman to get this chest because we're greedy. No, we're not. Uh, we're saving this woman from the pain of freezing alive and then right. looting her belongings for yeah, because Aeolian agreed. magic. Yeah, because agreed. That's, that's the this same spell thing that he just said, but longer. This more, we're killing a woman spells. because we want her belongings, all right? It's yeah. not the first <laughs> time, and it won't be the last. Which is kind of ironic that the reason I don't like her is because she worships the god of greed. I feel very uncomfortable about this now. I'm fully doing this for the benefit of Faerys and her moral support. You mean for the benefit of your... The group. I'd like to, um, insight check that, please. <laughs> All I'm check. saying is, I will take no part. I like if if you do take her belongings and sell them, I 19. want none of the gold that comes from that. I do not uh, want to benefit from that? her. How much? Thirteen. He knows. How how much are you fucking lying? <laughs> of course. Now, Absolutely. Now, we're a group here. We should be lying to each other now, should we? Huh? Okay, it's fifty-fifty between the two. Well, that's intentions, what... intentions aside, it's beneficial for all of us. I mean, Ferris oh, gets the, the satisfaction of killing a follower of an evil god. I don't we take get pleasure money. in killing the follower. I just think it's 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 much less risk in the world because no good has ever come from the followers of Tiamat. I don't enjoy it. Just to be clear. Insight check. Oh, Will it make us. you feel better it if took, we donate it some of our three uh, sessions to be enjoy killing the followers of evil? Mm. Oh, oh no! Nineteen. Oh, no. Laura, deception what do I roll? Deception or persuasion, whichever one it is for for you. Yeah, I mean, do you okay. take uh, pleasure in? Yeah, take that's pleasure a twelve. In killing followers of evil so, gods. Do you take? Are you pleasure? lying or no? Are you lying or no? No. No, I don't take pleasure in the actual, like, killing of them the and like, the murder itself. But I take pleasure in feeling that I've helped balance the karmic scales of the world war and mm. bad things are less likely to happen. She doesn't enjoy killing. She enjoys the satisfaction of knowing she's it's made not the, the act, safer place. It's the, like... It's the difference between, like, fucking Batman and the Punisher. Yeah. Sure. I don't know that reference. What's Batman? How do you not know that reference? <laughs> What's Batman? Uh, as you are, you've been discussing this for a while. Um, yeah. Suddenly you hear a knock we on the door. We go to bed. Oh. Mm. Uh oh. You hit my fancy. Arrow, I kind of Someone ready my bow. Hello? Is this <laughs> right? like, it's just like convenient random trader that's like, I have the cure for the frozen world. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It is three gold more than you possess. So does anyone open the door? I will yeah. ready I will. my bow in the, the corner. Yeah. <laughs> I just okay. get in the right in the corner and like, Hello? Um, sorry for, for dropping by so late, but uh, I was wondering, uh, 
Anything? Any, any updates on stickers. on the task I gave you? Elmo Bow. Oh, is it Elro? Elro? Oh. El man. What's his name? Um. Elro. Is it Elro? Elro. Did I write it down right? Elro. I did. Wait, Elro. Elro. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Um. Well, good news and bad news. Mostly good. Mm -hmm. uh, good news. We found out what it is. There. There was some vials of blue powder in some artifacts that the the first gentleman ergon brought back with him vials of and it was the powder, powder from those yes there was two of them he sold Mind them if i you have it do you have we any... have one the other one I... has been disposed of would you mind showing it to me don't touch sure. it though but if you touch it you may die <laughs> and I, will, I will get it out with it like wrapped still and I'll oh, part and wrap it, it just to show him. Right. Um, he thought he puts uh, five uh, coin purses um, on like a, a table Ooh, in the room. Over here carrying that much gold. Well, um, isn't that? Yes. You did what I okay. asked of you. You found out what happened to my villagers. Um, if you wouldn't mind. I'm going to spend the night um, going through some documents and old books because I've seen that powder before somewhere. I would appreciate it if um, tomorrow morning you stick around the, the tavern and I'll come visit you and there's a good chance I might have to hire your services for a bit of a follow-up if that's all right. Oh yeah, I uh, mean, we potentially have some unfinished business, for. so that's okay. We'll be we'll be here. Do we have time before you get here and finish what you're doing to nip to the the croaking cave and back? Um, Does he even well, know that I, is? I'll probably be here first thing in the morning. So well, no, it seems like okay. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I had to try. We'll go. Well, we'll we'll. We'll go tonight. We'll take. We, I've got some errands to run in the morning. It, 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 we'll go after you get here. It's fine. <laughs> we could go tonight, Ludwig. Go, uh, when murder is an errand. Rav. <laughs> Sorry, what was that? I didn't say anything. Oh yes, you fucking. Oh, did. did you see the antique shop? By the way, it's uh. Bad. I've heard. Yeah, yeah I've heard. Um, um, I will list off basically the four that we know who have mm -hmm. contracted it and like know that two are dead and. Yeah. You're close. Quickly, though. Where did you say this this Hulil? Like, do you tell him? Do you tell him where Hulil lives? Uh, no, where? Don't tell him where. No, no. I'm just telling okay. them who the people, the names. Just saying, like, we know these people have contracted. Yeah. Or have been in contact like, with the. With the. Uh, well, we know we got it. We've seen it. All of these people, except for this Hulil person. Do we tell him about the family downstairs? Well, Hulil yeah. is uh, Tolgi's sister. I didn't know she had one. For a bit oh. of an extra scratch, though, we could uh, take care of that. She's been sending, she sent those thugs to rough up the antique oh. place. For a bit of extra scratch, extra. though, we could take care of that. I just had the realization. What? Elro doesn't know why, what, what the sisters are up to. No. No, he has no idea. Nope. Ludwig, want to fill him in? Well, I mean, if you mean they're just here to steal stuff, I. Sorry. Uh, they, that's it. I mean, for, they're working for a family of the name Udalot. Udalot. <laughs> you fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um, the what now? They came from Shady Creek Run. They're, they're just here, really, to steal artifacts of any f value. I think uh, working of their own accord. I think. But I thought uh, they... Tolgi lived here. And you, you're saying they both interacted this this disease? I... Yes. Oh uh, well, to just Toby give you a quick. Is. Where is Hulil? She's totally yeah, dead. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Well, I mean, she she's will totally be. Totally dead. <laughs> um, she was she's... on death's door when we last saw her, and she was that kind of does moving not out of the city. my question, though, does it? We. She was going southward out the city. No way. Yeah, which way was the? To try um, to she was attempting to travel to Shady Creek. Run. Check. I lost a dice. Who? Oh, yeah. Me. I just I'm said she's going to help without the We're stairs. assisting, right? Hold so... on. Shh, 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 who? What about me? Okay. I'm missing me. Uh, 16. Okay. 
Do uh -oh. have advantage? Why do I get the sense yeah. that you're lying to me? I mean, I'm just because I'm so happy all the time. People uh, think is it, it's because I'm it lying. Is it a lie? He said that she was yes, intending yes, to, right? Yes, it fucking is. He said that she, he asked he said when. She I said she went. I went. She went. I said she went southward. Yeah. 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 He's fucking lying. She went. That's fine. Okay. I mean, it's just because I'm so bubbly. People think I'm lying all the time. Like, I'm just so happy. Dead stares at you. And I stare at him back, but really happy. Just like, I don't know what you want from me. Okay, okay, okay. You I to tell me the truth. Where is Hulu? Her plans oh, no. are to travel to Shady Creek Run in search of a cure. But she's she is, she is at a, probably about the same stage as her sister. Why does no one of you want to tell me where she is? Because she where she is is trapped things. with this thing. And if we tell anyone and they go there and they die, and we're dangerous. somehow morally responsible. She, she had like monsters guarding it. It was It's very risky. And we're just very worried about anyone going to get her. We were going and to she's gonna die anyway. ourselves tomorrow. Please. I'm asking you as leader of this village and head of law enforcement, you have any information upon the whereabouts of an active criminal Tell me now, so she can be arrested. <coughs> oh, why didn't you just say so? <laughs> there is a grave, cave. there is a grave cave. risk that she is still in possession of some of that frigid woe, and who you may send to arrest her could suffer the same fate as the others in this town. She heavily implied she'd used it to set traps, so we kind of got out of there pretty quick. But for now, bring she's at the present cave if you want to Would wait that outside. be a suitable compromise? Thank you. That come out. First person to actually tell me the location of where she is currently. I said she was in a cave ages ago. We're surrounded by caves. Cave. <laughs> There's so many caves. <laughs> Alright. She's in a tree. We're in the forest, bitch. <laughs> I understand that there's See. probably some treasure there that you wanted to claim for yourselves, which is why you're being hesitant, or you were being hesitant about telling me the location. I'm we're sending... just concerned about cursed objects that might still carry right. this affliction. I'm sending a group of my men to this cave right now. I'll carefully instruct them not to touch this chest that you spoke of. We sort of need her. And Why don't piss off the do bats. you need her? Because she can open the chest. There is a possibility... You're sending them right now? Like, but you're here. I'm confused. Oh my god. Afterwards. I hit their bells winning. We should have just gone. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm going I mean, to I try just and arrested. be as nice about this as I can. Please, I thank you, and I've paid you for your service to the town so far. If you are willing to m make a little more money, I'll have another job for you tomorrow. But be aware that if I catch any of you trying to get back to Hulil, You'll be meddling with official law enforcement and their business, and that is an arrestable offense. All right? Okay. We'll take care of it. We'll make sure that this chest remains untouched, and we'll deal with it later. You're welcome. Because you got everything under control. I, I, I trust in you. All right. Said that genuinely. That's genuinely. Weren't... Yeah. Uh Poisonous frog, I would wring your neck. Good thing right, I am. I'll then. see you tomorrow you, morning. That was a get some sleep. Thank you again. I'll speak to you tomorrow. some clothes. He leaves the room and have a good night. As soon as he shuts the door, we could just kill him. No, <laughs> oh, we could just kill him. him. Oh. Absolutely not. Why are you so fixated on murder recently? Yeah, it's not the murder. It's the do money. You have, 
do you have some built up anger, Elias, that you're looking for a way to express? Because you know, like, there's better ways to do it than killing people. You tried making a journey. Clearly, clearly, we are a group that is not well suited to conversation. Mm. Therefore, that away. Rather than persuade him to let us have the chest, I'm look. I'm I'm not saying we do. I just it he's made me feel us... better to state that it was an I... option. Okay, he's, he's gonna give us the chest. He'll give us a chest. No, I'm sure. I'm it. sure. And if he doesn't, then we're not going to kill him shame. for it. Yeah, but if he does oh, no, give us it, loss. we can always do a little bit of breaking and entering. And by breaking, I mean his knees. <laughs> entering? What do you mean by that? His tone. <laughs> What he means is they're gonna have an intellectual discussion. Oh, okay. God, you guys. I'll, I'll just man. I'll introduce him to some persuasion and reason. Did you name your daggers or? Either way, there's nothing to be done now. Let's sleep, and we'll see. He's gonna come back in the morning and tell us how it went, and we'll find out. I... And we'll decide yeah. what to do then. We're I suppose you got paid, so. Yeah, we did give- Oh! And I'll get- Neswin! 100. Neswin. I will give 10 gold over. <laughs> All right, Thank the you. fucking bet! I can't believe it was that simple. I really Top wish be religious. I a different spell because of you all now. So, you all long rest. And as you wake mm. up a little early, through a knock on your door, a pretty firm just- doof, 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 doof. Huh? Oh, wake! I'm awake. I'm, I'm, I'm Good morning. Wake, I, like, through the door, you hear like, "I'm sorry for waking you, but I've I've learned some things, and I I needed to discuss this with you right away." Oh, okay. We're, we're no. gonna die. You're gonna die oh. at this point, so Elias. Come on. Nesmin is like we're just pointing learning. at me and say you're gonna die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said we learned some things, and I'm 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 my head of the gang. It's a disease. Oh, anyone who touches it, they're screwed. Oh, you're screwed. That was the last. Elias thing. took that as a direct threat, and it was just cast <laughs> mage armor. <laughs> Neswin, oh. Neswin opens up that fucking door, bright and happy, like a good old morning person. Like, hey, he's a fucking morning person. Hey, God, I thought we were getting um, on, Faerus. Um, yeah, we I, are, but you're you're diseased now. After, after I, um, you know, you show me the powder. Yeah, I, um, oh, come in. Consulted some old law, and I, I learned a few things um, about this uh, disease. Um, also. Irvin, Fenton, and his kids, or their kids, honor and magic, um, showing symptoms. Oh, yeah, no. fucking prick. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, they caught me off guard, Duke. I'm sorry. That was such a good fucking reaction. I don't know. Sorry. <clears throat> but, there is a cure. Okay. The frigid woe is said to have only one cure a milky liquid that the Eorians stored in gold vials. Oh, okay. But not the school. I hope that this cure might be found in the same place Urgon found the vials of Frigid Woe in Isocross. Your, I would your... ask of you to travel to the islands of Isocross and retrace Urgon's path, trying to find a cure. A payment of another 100 gold pieces each. More. And... Time is of the essence for you don't Irvin need to and his offer... family. So you don't need to offer more and look at Ludwig and go, you can have my share. There you go, you get some more. We're risking everything uh, that everyone's already going through. A hundred gold pieces is... But I mean, surely isn't the satisfaction of being a cure? Of where it comes from, you know what to avoid. Ludwig, fuck the reward money. If we're going to Isocross, we could find... There is so much... Everything that was in that chest artifacts. times five. <laughs> oh my Thousand. god. Hundred gold is perfectly acceptable. Jade Hundred gold will cover our supplies. I've uh yeah. ready, Rings I have ready a ship for you to, that will set sail tonight. Uh if you need Sounds to buy good. any supplies, uh feel free to go around town uh, getting your, your 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 tools, your essentials. I'll make sure the Absolutely. shops uh give you a bit of a discount. And uh, meet me at the docks of the village uh, tonight. Uh, say, say sunset. Or are you married? Me? If you get us to Isocross, you will be. Uh, 
I, um, me. I don't, I, uh, uh, whatever happened last night, you're my new best friend. I'm, okay. we're going to see some Aeorian ruins. I want to find some shit. <laughs> I think he likes his AR. I could, I could be wrong though. I, I, yeah, literally okay, everything I'm, in I'm our current modern same. understanding of the arcane transcends from pre-calamity magic. Well, this I'm glad that was a lot of big words. I'm glad you're motivated <laughs> because it's it's a it's a hard task. I've got a hard task here in about all that treasure. Like... <laughs> so, um, like I said, if you need anything to prepare, go around town. The shops will provide you with a discount, and uh, meet me at the docks at sunset, and you'll set sail. Okay. All right. Gold vials with a milky liquid. I'm just gonna yes. buy food. The That's elusive gamer buy. girl bathwater. <laughs> <laughs> Is your bathwater often milky white? Are you bathing in in? Oh, oh, me Cleopatra. That explains the weird silkiness to your skin. And this cheesy smell. <laughs> <laughs> God, I hate all of you, actually. <laughs> is that is that why my familiar always wants to lick you? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ferrets, for those of you that don't know, ferrets love dairy. Yeah? Even though they're lactose intolerant. Nice. Don't ask me I like why cats. I know that. Very cool. All right. <laughs> oh, I need to a oh, long rest. Dutch. All right. Oh so you all God. slept. You all have your uh, your 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 mission for the day. Mm -hmm. I buy Russians. Anyone want to go shopping before? Uh... Yeah. I mean, I just I just want to buy rations and like basic supplies. Nothing too major. Like I don't yeah, want to like. Uh, I, there's nothing in particular I want to be like. I'm literally just going to go. Like how many rations? Uh, enough that I think will last us the journey. I'd like Long ten rows. more rations. Like. Uh, what's the going price on them? Uh, normally they're about uh, five copper each. Uh, but uh, mm. for you, you can bulk order um. For every ten rations, uh, you get like a fifty percent discount. Quick math, that is. I will buy thirty. So that is for yourself seven or silver. I mean, it's, I'm just buying thirty. Seven silver and five copper. Okay. And then also want to buy some arrows as well. Like I will also get fifty arrows. Like, thirty. Stupid. How much was thirty? Seven silver, five Those, copper. Like, how much for some like 50 hours or something stupid like that? Are we, are we so. being prepared rations or do we need to bring our own? Because we could need a lot. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say get we need, uh, We're bringing our own, right? Yeah, you're bringing your own. I'm gonna. Well, that's why we're buying some. Okay. I was going to ask, but. How much are you gonna give me? I. Huh? How much are you giving him? Oh, I. I, I mean, I drew 10 gold because of the bet. Oh, really? Yeah, and then. Yeah. And then. Oh, I have to add 100 because I just fucking won that. I just got mm -hmm. that. Oh, 90 even. I I I oh, said if you remove the ten, then add a hundred. Yeah, 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 right. Um, I just took away a gold in total because you said a lot of numbers yeah, to me. Yeah, I got yeah. confused. A little less than about right. Yeah, you'll be fine. I uh, just to give a god fucking keep the chain anchor shit. Wait, wait, how many rations did you buy? I bought thirty, so in total I have thirty-seven now. So like five for days. everyone, or thirty just for you? I mean, I've just bought thirty, right? I'm gonna buy yeah. enough and rations then, like... so that everyone has thirty at least. Okay, yeah, it works. I a, bought a month's worth of rations each. So. Fucking Christ. Yeah. I bought 10. We, we, so how long are we going to be? Would, would Elias... Okay, Beanie knows things about travel here. Would Elias know roughly... He's smart. He would know how, roughly how long the travel is, right? Um. Well, you don't know where in Isocross you're going. No, but even the uh, ship journey is, like, long, isn't it? But it is... <clears throat> let me quickly, let me quickly, let me quickly look. Um... Just, well... If it's going to be that long, it would be senseless because everyone we could cure would be dead by the time we get back. Yeah. We're not going to be gone more than four weeks at most, otherwise the family no, 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 of the trader is no, no, dead. No, no. So really we don't I, which is why I picked 30 rations. A ration a day. Ration day. Stalks are a week. Because I assume it's going to be like two weeks of travel, two weeks there. It doesn't say well, then, how long. It is two weeks. It doesn't, it doesn't say how it's long. One week, one week, right? The right. Uh, okay, well... This it's, it's not gonna be, Obviously it's not gonna be, like, it's, it, it's a, um, it's a bit of a trick. 30 days rations is 60 fucking pounds. Jesus. It's a bit oh. of a trek, but it's not, it's oh, not months. Wait. Right, you're not gonna be yeah. there for months. It, no, but it, um... 
the, like... Oh. It's the fucking speed of a ship. Depends on the ship. Depends on the wind. That's true. Depends on the weather. Depends on the tide. Depends on the... Eyes across itself is about like... Ends? End to end, like two, on three hundred miles. So depending how far we go... I'm just gonna say that 30 rations should be enough yeah. each and buy that because that makes sense in my head. Cool. Sure. Because canonically it's not like a, a day trip on the fucking boat. It's I don't know how long it is, I just know that it's time and it, we could spend two weeks traveling depending where in Isocross we're going, which we don't know yet, so I'm gonna prepare for the worst. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's fine. How much did you say the ra the rations were? Two two silver, five copper for each ten. Two silver, five copper. Yeah. I'm getting one, two. <gasps> I'm getting 120. Uh, so 12. Quick so math. let's just say 25, uh, 20, 30 silver. Sure. Which is fucking three gold. Yep. Okay, I'll pay, I'll give him five gold. Uh, and everyone other than Koiba has 30 rations. There you go. Yeah. Any other supplies you would wish okay. to uh, supply yourself with? Uh, let's I mean, I'd, if I didn't have a rope already, I would have got a rope. Okay. But I think... I think you do have a rope. I have used it at some point. Did you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, how, see if I we don't know if find explorers, explorers packs. How much is another 50 feet of rope? Let me look real quick. Uh, one gold piece according to DD Beyond. Uh, okay. yeah, one, one 50 foot hemp and rope is a gold piece, but with a discount, uh, it'll be five silver. Okay. I did. You're paying half price. Uh, I'll also get one of them. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. I am so hot. I'm sweating. Holy fuck. I've got Say that again. Oh, Daddy. why are we like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's so hot. And we're talking about like the snowy fucking region. I'm like, God, I wish. <laughs> yeah. yeah no. <laughs> Um, yeah, can we find a magic shop? This town does not appear to have like a like a proper magic shop. There's Man, a place where you can buy- shop owner's dead. There's a place where you can buy potions, but that's about as magical as it gets around here. Oh, Your whole god like is that- I buy potions. Okay. Do they have any- do they have like the basic shit I need to fill out my component pouch as well? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And potion-wise, cool. what they have prepared are just like the basic healing potions, uh, some basic potions as potions of resistance, so like lightning resistance, uh, poison resistance, that sort of thing. Other than I'm that, like the more advanced they stuff, they don't have available. Okay. Is there anyone that would buy If I can afford it, um, I'm buying all of their healing potions. Uh, um, I think... We do have a discount, and Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, let me have a look. What if we get shipwrecked and have to live in Isocross for six months? Who's getting eaten first? Fishman, clearly. Um, or frog's legs. For six no, basic legs. healing potions with a discount would cost you... 150 gold. Done. How many did I get? Six? Six, yeah. Cool. 25 each. Is there anyone I could sell prosthetic arm to? Look around for someone who's missing an arm. In this town, in this town honestly, <laughs> probably not. Okay. Bigger cities, probably. There'll probably be like. Some... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put on the bloodstone ring, the silver ring, and the silver chain that I got from the last, uh, sure. the last expedition. We're bling. Yeah, sure. They're, they're, I had you identify them or, or detect magic, then they aren't magical at all. So you just, you're just showing how drippy you are right now. I fuck with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, best um. Player. Yeah, one of the wasn't one of them like oh no, it was the medallion. Never mind, the medallion was super sketchy. Uh, so you know how Ferris the day before was like on the big Tiamat rant. Mm -hmm. This entire mm -hmm. time, Elias is just walking around explaining in depth to anyone that will listen about how Aeorian magic founded the structuring principles of magic, including the very recent study of dunamancy and the fact that a lot of his magic stems from Aeorian research. In I'm the fascinated, and I'm taking notes. <laughs> the whole time. I just keep asking about the great treasures that they have, really, I mean... Oh, he'll, he'll talk about that as well, and about the fact that, like, items have been found that are the reason why he can cast all these fancy dunamancy spells, and... Alright, so everyone, you know, has 
supplied themselves with the stuff they need. I Does anyone want to go buy those resistance potions? I bought all of the healing ones. So oh, no. Nah, I'm good. I can mm-hmm. cast resistance. I will. I don't need. Yeah. So sunset comes. I know and you arrive at the docks where you see uh, Elro Elvatar um, standing there with a group of glass blades, the very branch of, of, of the village in this area, uh, standing next to a Ooh. ship that is docked that has the Remoraz, uh, like, painted on uh, the side of the, of the oh, ship. we fought one of those. You did fight one of those. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We <laughs> did not fight. Campaign 1 fought yeah. one of Brand somewhere still has Remoraz blood. Yeah, fucking Gen has a dagger made of... Gen has a Remoraz dagger, yeah. yeah. Um, Elro approaches you and says, I've uh, arranged passage to Isle Cross for you all uh, on board of the Ramaraz, um, a sailing ship owned and operated by the Glass Blades. Um, you'll be taken to Serinlia, an Uthodurnian outpost on Foran, Isle Cross's largest island. Once there, you should talk to a dwarf named Orvo Mustav. Uh, who has gone on numerous expeditions into the wilds of Isocross with Urgon Wind. So you'll you, know where the treasure is. Once you find the cure, you should use uh, whatever you need for yourselves, if the if need be. Give the rest to an elf in Serinlia who goes by the name of the Buyer. They can tell the Buyer to teleport the cure to Elru to me in back in the village. Okay. Does that need repeating? <laughs> Actually, I it does. Okay. Doctor Dwarf named Ervo must have fine cure. You're going to Serenlia. Look for Elf. By the by. On Isocross's largest island of Foren. Once there, talk to a dwarf named Orvo Mustav. He's gone on numerous expeditions into the wilds of Isocross with Urgon Wenth. Once you find the cure, you happen to need it yourself. Use it. Whatever you have left, give it to an elf in Serenlia who goes by the name of The Buyer, and you can tell them to teleport the cure to me back here in the village. All right. Perfect. All right. Um, just a bit of a fair warning. I've put some very... Uh, I've taken the liberty of preparing your... your... Uh, your rooms on the ship with uh, some, uh, you know, giving you guys a set of winter clothes each, because um, it is extremely cold where you're going. Extremely oh, cold. So, make sure to... Oh, we're uh, very grateful in that case. Up. And with that, you, uh, you, you climb aboard the Remoraz, as the ship is called. You set off. Uh, initially, you're going northwestward because you're gonna have to curve around uh, the the coastline. Mm-hmm. And I think we'll pick this up next week. Perfect. Oh fuck. Me. How yeah. are we gonna explain Soko magically being on the boat? I mean, he's just be teleported onto the ship, dude. Like, fucking, okay, cool. that's kind of how we do these. These guys. No, he just me. He's just a big orgy on the boat. But like, he was really there been? on the ship when we got there. Yeah. yeah like, sure, hey funny. guys. But yeah. Hey, uh, God, no, guys. how does this character talk? Guys. He has, hey, like, guys. The, the deep, no, he had the really deep voice with that, like, Slavic <laughs> accent. Like, yeah, yeah, that's right, born. that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, guys. This is a fun guys. adventure. This is a fun one shot. I like this one. This, this is. is yeah. fun. I, like this one. This one. I like it. Yeah. I, I feel like this one has a lot more moral ambiguity. Yeah. yeah. All right, but uh, I would like to thank you all for playing. My friends, uh, thank you thank for you DMing. Yeah, for thanks watching. for DMing, Mr. Oh, yeah, with that shit, and, that chaos uh, was brilliant. Yeah. Follows, and Furious Goku followed uh, while we were offline hey, last night. Hey, Goku! So big, I up, know him. big up the mans. Um, thanks know for all the fight. follows. Tomorrow, we'll be here again. Me, uh, Duke, and Ethan will be at 8pm uh, uh, UK time. Obviously 3. 3pm. 3 give Thursday. away, give away. We're with a bell again. For, and yeah, there's uh, going to be a giveaway. You should go just for stream. that. And we're going to be talking about uh, our giveaway hosted by Shatter. We're going to be giving away a copy of Baldur's Gate 3 and all that stuff. All the information we'll, we'll, we'll talk about tomorrow on stream. So be here. 
We're gonna play Baldur's Gate. We're gonna give away a game. It's gonna be a good fucking time. Hopefully. But also you should go because <laughs> once we start broadcasting more than once per week, we we hopefully can hit affiliate pretty soon. Mm. And then you yeah, guys, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. banging emotes all ready so to go. Literally just like, lined up. We have emotes ready. We just have to guys. get that affiliate status and then get people mm -hmm. to use their primes and sub to us so that we can fucking you know use all those emote slots, baby! But we can fucking. We can fucking. We can fucking, boys. We can fucking. Uh, and girls. Is that before, before or after you and have a unique Yeah. I, uh, I appreciate all y'all. We'll be back here uh, next week to, to finish off this one shot. We'll be here tomorrow for Baldur's Gate. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Love ya. Thank you, Val. Thank you, Val. This will be on YouTube. Uh, Thank you, Val. Somewhere next week. This will be up on YouTube. Um, hashtag Bell is great. Thank you. Val. Thanks for having me, gamers. Appreciate y'all. Friday. See you guys. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.